What the hell is this place anyway? All right, here we are again, Saturday night. I think it's time for a responsible randomizer, son. By the book. Y'all are going to be so proud. We're going to do Claire A, Leon B, although we might not necessarily see Claire and Leon, depending on what the randomizer decides. So let's get into it, son. Let's get into it. We're just going to be normal. It's going to be a normal randomizer, son. I'm telling you, it'll be so milk toast. Your grandma won't even have to look up from her knitting. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat me as symptoms with a serum. There you go. That's what happened in Resident Evil 1. Here we are, Jill Valentine on the streets of Raccoon City, son, where she grew up, presumably. I've got a knife. I got a knife and I've got the samurai edge son it's not the only chan edge when jill has it because she's not got a big brother that i know of so check the novels look at this fat full heel we started with boys i'm telling you this is a good responsible inventory and a sensible ink ribbon just like getting a steak and egg biscuit at bojangles son this doesn't seem like enough for this mission all right well let's get to it boys I feel like we're going to have a better time in this randomizer than we did before, mainly because I'm just going to replay that much more responsibly, son. Just because I know y'all worry. We will skip the doors. Let's see who's here at the Kendo Gun Shop to become good friends with Jill Valentine. Hey, how's it going? You, give me a hand. Okay. Ready to be squeezed. This is a waste of my time. It must be a star's radio. It's slightly broken, but it's still usable. I'll take it with me. I don't care. Nah, nothing new. Well, it seems the Kendo gun shop was manned by Kevin Ryman for Resident Evil Outbreak, son. He was like the best single player character usually. But uh he's very on character with his uh snarky attitude. That was bullshit. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna point out the awkward fact that according to the lore of Resident Evil Outbreak, he's a tried multiple times to get into stars, but never passes the exam. So he's still just a regular police officer, although he has cool Leon armor. Well, the flamethrower. Don't tell Chris Redfield we got a hold of this. He'll call it cheating. Son, he knows that in Resident Evil 1, only men get flamethrowers, son. They gave up playing the piano and mixing chemicals for it, son. Don't take that away from them. Don't take that away from them. All right, Kevin, I need to save your corpse and the juicy items on it. So let's burn this crowd up, boys. Let's burn this crowd up. Jimmy Jr. Oh, no, I'm out of flame fuel. Tina, ask your dad if we can have some of his cooking propane. Zeke, I don't know if we should put cooking propane in a flamethrower. Oh, jeez, Jimmy Jr. You ain't never going to get nowhere with an attitude like that. <laughs> I'll show would appreciate a little Boz Burgers. We could save ammo and use the knife. Use the knife. Save ammo with the knife. Jill Valentine should be real good at knifing, son. Crocodile Dundee would respect her. They'd be like, oh, I love the kind of Sheila knows what a knife is. I'm Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> Australians love me as a stereotypical representation of them. Australia should have made a like, counter movie to that. Called some yank asshole. <laughs> Son, it could have been some American in a cowboy hat, machine gun bullets. Hell yeah. You know he'd have a cheeseburger, son. Wearing a Dale Earnhardt NASCAR t shirt, son, with a beer gut. 
we would take it and go try it. I like these regular ass Resident Evil 2 zombies we're getting. It's a nice change. Okay, I'm gonna pre-game y'all through the fence, son. I ain't paying the full price when y'all bust through the gate. There will be one. Well, look at that. I forgot that the Oni-chan Edge, or as Geo calls it, the Samurai Edge. Chris won't even acknowledge it. If she's like, Chris, you left your Samurai Edge in the locker room, like he won't even look up. He's like, it doesn't even sound like words to him. <laughs> and Jill just sighs and is like, you left your Oni-chan Edge in the locker room. And he's like, oh, okay, Jill. Well, you could have said that to start with, instead of uh, making nonsense words with your mouth. Barry won't get involved. Fine, I will use hangar bullets on you, Neo from the Matrix. Never so good at fucking dodging. Oh, look, and you brought your friend. You brought your friend. Oh, he's going to pretend like we didn't make eye contact. All right, what's in this van that I have to have? I love acid rounds. <laughs> And I hated not having inventory. We're going to take them. We're not going to regret eating that herb. I guarantee it. We've also propped like cannon quiet street sounds to fall asleep to. All right, I'm just going to run past you. After reloading, chicka chicka, what, what? This too shall pass. All right, let's hope we didn't pock any enemies in the alleyway. Oh, I hear skittering of some sort. Oh, there are moths down there. <laughs> well, at least y'all didn't spawn somewhere where that matters. But I've still got to get past regular grenade rounds. You crowd can't keep doing this to me. You're tearing me apart. Guess what? You crowd just earns some samurai edge shots. Okay, how many? We got three, two, three. We probably can't hit them with the knife from here. If the flamethrower had fuel in it, this would be the most satisfying spot to try to use it. I don't know why I'm humoring you, fucking crowd. Honestly. Honestly. I did all that for two uh, bullets. Okay, I think I can just run past these guys. I'm not nervous. Look at that. It was so easy. It was easier than dodging the zombies that are normally there in the vanilla game. No enemies in the liquor room. Look at how bad off this crowd was. It was before the outbreak even happened, son. They were just too rowdy and drunk. Here by the fine liquors. That man had the most butter knife shoved in his back. And look, little Mr. Bean crashed his car here. It was essential. All right, nothing bad on the bus, please. I hear dogs. Dogs are bad on the bus. We got spooky dogs music too. Oh, 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 oh! The only chain edge is gonna be powerful and strong for us against dogs. And then, in between, no, I'm not trying to examine eight rim. Try stab dog, jackass. <laughs> Come at me, bro! Oh no! What happened? Did the human invent a weapon that propels a projectile down a tube? Is it not fair? Maybe you should develop fucking guns next time, shit lord. <gasps> Thank Jesus we could pick that up. So we're having a grand old fucking time getting in the precinct. I told you this was going to be a good randomizer. That nothing bad would happen on the streets of Eternia. Well, hey, Billy, what are you doing out here, you nut? Look at all this mess you caused to happen just because you didn't want nobody to steal your purple drink. You signed a contract at Umbrella. Enemies. Listen to this Silent Hill ass music. Okay. Anybody outside? All right. What's in the secret garden that we can't quite have just yet? M -m -m Magnum bullets. Now, we're going to need an inventory spot to pick up the blue key card, but luckily we have a single ink ribbon so we can make a single responsible save. Listen to this. Where's Wesker? That's the best entry hall music of all time. I see that headless zombie. This is the music when Barry and Jill return to the entranceway and they're like, where the hell did Wesker go? Or Chris comes back. Is that a floating zombie head? Am I entering the catacombs from Dark Souls? Has Resident Evil 2 become the next Souls-like? Some games journalists licking their lips. Yeah, I need that. I want that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. No, stop. I've got to get 
Let me get to the thing. There we go. It's the thing. Okay, we're going to start from here. The number 23. Don't tell Jim Carrey. You know, I watched that movie one time. I watched it with my former roommate, Gene. Ten Fae historians are quite familiar with. They're like, oh, yes, I can hear Missile Command and, <laughs> and asteroids in my mind. I hear the Frogger music inside my mind like Um Jammer Lammy. Okay, good. We can go to an item box. I'm... Okay, there's... The, I'm kind of freaked out. The Where's Wesker music combined with these weird, like, disembodied zombie heads. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave you be. How about that, buddy? Oh, he's mad. That was an RE1 zombie, too. I can tell. It's like a mongoose enchant. I can tell. Nobody's allowed to bite me on chicken and ass till I sort my inventory. That's the rule. We're probably gonna end up taking that knife with us. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> the knife is a terrible thing to waste. They tell you. Okay. Oops, left the room. Okay. We're gonna search places until I have some more ammo. We're gonna search around. These zombies that are just like in the ground, can I stab them? I'm like a cat testing something by slapping it with its paw. I'm just imagining Jill Valentine like squinting her eyes really tightly shut and somehow folding her ears back. <laughs> and then just with one quavering human paw reaching out. I'm gonna stab you in the ass till you stop crawling. So you get to the side when this ends. Don't make me pin this fucking thing against the wall. Brian Irons will lose his fucking mind. I hear squishy zombie feet. I hear squishy zombie feet. I don't think that's very neat. Here I come with my cool knife. I'm about to end your life. Okay, I see invisible monsters down there, Chuck Palin the Yuck. Don't think I don't. I wonder if that's intentional or if like a model glitched because these are, you know, RE1 green coat zombies. I like to think they're cousins to the Green Pants Massacre zombies that are famous 10 fake cannon. It's nice to get to use like the knife responsibly. Please don't be bad enemies in this room. Your love is like bad enemies. I hate you dogs. I'm getting Arclay Forest flashbacks. Enemies. Burger Kong. Look at that squishy map. Okay, she targeted something. Maybe it won't be bad. Oh, ho, ho, that sounds like plants packed to the brim with plant jizz. And you're in there guarding all the good items, too. Come on. Jill Valentine's just a working gal, son. All right. Well, we could get past him. I wish y'all were, like, elementally weak to the knife. No, what the hell is this fucking tech? Grab, goddamn Zangief. Now grab hold somebody. Brain data. Well, if we find it, there's that one magnet bullet she gave Leon in, the, in our first randomizer episode. B -b -b bees Ooh, blue herbs are good. Can I knife the bees? Oh. 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 Bee killer. Soul stealer, son, Inuyasha's like, write that down, write that down. Don't tell my brother. His sword only heals. He's got a ghetto ass healing sword. That's a joke. Literally, Inuyasha's dad gave Sashomaru that healing sword as a joke. He's like, oh, you're like an edge lord that wants to wipe out humanity well, here. All you can do is help. You're like Fix It Felix <laughs> Jr. when he's trying to break out of that candy prison. All you can do is reinforce the bars. Fine, I'll leave you as one survivor, son. Natural born fucking killers. Well, we're finding nice stuff, but it's not getting us where we need to be, which is within dog killing range. If I could find an SMG to load them bullets into, things will change around here, son. Things will change around here. I'm glad you didn't grab me. I'm glad you didn't cheat the frame data. All right, remember there's immediate dogs, so we've got to turn and run like we're playing the fucking fourth survivor. The fourth survivor! Okay. Poison ramen, son. Oh, yeah, we need to go in there and talk to whoever Marvin is now because we're going to prop that cutscene at some point. I don't care for you and your various states. 
We've unlocked like a genuine creepypasta. Resident Evil 2 randomizer.exe. We're literally playing biorand.exe, so that kind of works. Is that Jill? Didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Okay, let's go. Yeah? It's awful! Double crosser! Yeah? You must stop this now! Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Is that Jill? Maybe you're right. Let's go then. The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? You're quiet. What are you worrying about? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. Thank you. I'll take this then. Kenneth was killed too. Well, there you go. Enrico being the wounded guy laying on the ground like you like Marvin is actually pretty in character for his appearance in the original Resident Evil. He's like the Marvin of original Resident Evil. All right, let's see if I can responsibly walk over there and be allowed to grab that file, which will be an item. We've got all kinds of grenade rounds. We've got a Geo Valentine compatible inventory we've put together. Sensible, son. But we've again got no bullets. Dave, <laughs> Jason Statham himself won't be enough to save us. We're going to have to make decisions now. Because we're going to have to deal with dogs one way or the other. We're either going to run past this room and keep on keeping on or go to the other side. We'll get more accomplished if we can just run through here. Oh, I hate you all so much. They're hitbox. They're like, it's like Dark Souls enemies. <laughs> They're like... You can't run past us boxes like bigger than their small dog bodies would have you to believe. They would have you to believe! We did a fairly good job of running around them when I think about it. Please don't be enemies in this room. Dogs. It's always dogs. I'm over here. Knife and dogs. Too late. Too late. Come out, your gizzard. Come out, your gizzard. Don't make me call Jimmy Jr. again. Oh, no. So many dogs to knife. Okay, we're going to have to uh, start uh, doing some shit with handgun bullets. Okay, I almost juked all of y'all. This is some horse shit I'm dealing with here and there. Fucking handgun bullet, my name. Jesus. Did I say we were having an easy time? Resident Evil 1 asked me, is, is that Billy Perkins' fucking footsteps I hear in this now, asshole? I'm racing you the door, Billy. I get in the bathroom first, son. I'm going to read the whole Super Metroid Player's Guide. James Piner would approve. Okay, little G mutants normally aggravate me, but I'm happy to see them right now because it means there won't be anything more worse than that. Let's see if my beloved item that I always think is over here is over here. It's not. I promise you one day it'll be over there. It will. Okay, was that the only thing in this room then? I feel like there's one other examinable item. I didn't dream it up, did I? Maybe in Claire A there's not. Maybe in Claire A, there just ain't another odd. We've just got to learn to accept that. There ain't even cold drinks in here. Regular cola. Might as well go back to bed. We got to get by Billy. Bye, bye, Billy. Don't do... Okay, thank God he's like a player character in Dark Souls and his weapon hits against the wall. Unlike the skeletons and such. Okay, good. This hallway was... Oh, there's hango bullets. Technical... Oh! Oh, <laughs> come the fuck on. Why you got to give me this fucking thing? I mean, is Aki's ghost in the shell of the randomizer? Lookers in the save room. That's fucking cheap as shit, boys. But at least we killed one of them. Oops, race. Thank God. Are we in danger? No. Fuck me. Lookers like I thought I just did. It's like, uh... The night seal or whatever. Oh no, there's another one in here. He's hidden by the ambient occlusion. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Take you with us. Store the plastic. 
We need that spark shot for just a moment. Okay, I hear you do a uh, death leap. Where are you? I know I unequipped my weapon. Metal Gear's laughed because it's immortal. Okay. Okay, if you're hung there and I can just shoot you, that's fine. And it's good. <laughs> it's not bad when it helps me. That's how it works. Thank God. Got that. Oh, I haven't even had a chance to comment on how much I'm loving this RE1 remake save room music we've brought. Comfy and Kena. We've got both types of Resident Evil save room music. Comfy and Kena. Well, look at that. Useful. Useful flamethrower fuel. I didn't know they still made that. I'm gonna... No, I was in such deep yellow caution that the green herb wouldn't get me out of it. It wasn't enough. That's how you know I was in deep. Okay, if I could find the grenade launcher, boys, if things are gonna change around here, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We gotta check upstairs. I don't have a damn ink ribbon. <laughs> to save let's just poke our head out and look around you've got how many bullets in you six well let's use up the seven and the browning hp claire's actual handgun if we were actually claire and not a quote-unquote more better character jill valentine and claire redfield are like captain kirk and captain picard oh ain't you crowd fuck pleasant top of that stairs I'm gonna shoot you from down here. Oh. <laughs> they don't know what to do. They're AI. Can't figure it out. Okay, this is like Lisa Trevor music we're getting in the dog room. Hey, idiots. Come fight me. <laughs> Pathfinder doesn't know what to fuck do, boys. Stairs. Stairs. Of course, I can't auto-aim target them unless they happen to walk in front of that area. I don't think we have enough bullets to even deal with them if we could. Okay, we're just going to clear a path and run. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why do we get so many dogs? I mean, it's technically better than all those spiders we got last time, but still. needs fuck breathing room. Okay, my auto-aim says that nobody here wishes ill intentions upon me. I'd like to think I could trust my auto aim. If you can't trust anything else, trust auto aim. Yeah, I'm thinking if I had about 940 hangar bullets or a submachine gun, I'd be just about set. Bees in this room. Who let bees in the star's office? Brad Vickers left out a bag of bit. Oh, honey. All summer he forgot about. In his bottom desk drawer, and they, the bees snuck in through the ventilation system and built a the fucking hive in there. Oh, I wish you were cannon. Mortal wounds, though. Getting a bit nervous. Hey, you. Come back here. I'm a bee stabber. Swap you call me down at the pub. They're like, oh, he's old bee stabber in the night. I was hoping to play a bit of Magic the Gathering with old Beast Anger. God, remember when you used to be able to just play Magic the Gathering and it was just a fun game? Some of the best memories of my fucking life, as sad as this might be, it's like that guy singing about the summer of 69 and how he bought like a used guitar. <laughs> and somebody was standing on a porch yelling at him at one point. But, uh, was hanging out with my friends after, like during the weekend when we were all in high school. And we would play Magic the Gathering, and your deck, you, you just, just whatever cards you had, son. You didn't buy cards off the internet or read deck lists. You was so fascinated by this fax machine. The bees are very kindly not stinging us in the frozen time. Yeah, I'm thinking if I get a hold of a submachine gun bullet, I'm spoiled. But yeah, son, it was just whatever boosters and shit you managed to find at various stores around here. That's what you built your deck out of. You had to trade your way up to it, son. You had to earn four copies of Miri Cat Warrior. And then you had to continue buying Miri Cat Warriors through the rest of your life to fill a void in your heart. Son, the Final Fantasy expansion comes out at some point. Wonder if there's going to be a certain Dragoon Lady card, son. 
Ten Fei Channel is going to change to being TCG so seamlessly. Okay, well, we found some nice ink ribbons, and that's exactly what we wanted. Not really. I'm lying to myself, but it's a good thing to have. It's a good thing, son. The blog articles write themselves. Stars members don't have to be your randomized audience anymore. Stars members are dead. Okay, do we need to bring the knife? The knife is comforting. I'm not gonna lie. Something about having a couple of handgun bullets and a knife and a handgun in your inventory makes me think the beginning of a classic Resident Evil son. And it does my heart good. I guess we could reload this thing. Chicka chicka what what? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna save. And now that we've got a little bit to our names, I don't particularly feel like fighting dogs with a flamethrower. But if it comes down to it, we'll do it. Jill Valentine is not afraid to incinerate undead canines for you. It's my burned up <laughs> zombie dogs and I need them dead now. Now we can use these four bullets in this gun to help us weaken the dogs. Let's just, yeah, bring everything. It'll be an assault on canines. It'll be like that time Gadget Hack Wrench had to like build a Sigourney Weaver-esque like exosuit to fight like these rat cultists that were using different flavors of cola to like embezzle like <laughs> jewelry or something. And Gadget Hack Wrench is the only one that won't fall for their nonsense, son. She should have enlisted the aid of all them Russians. Billy, I literally forgot you were there. I didn't even have a chance to react before you beefed it. Remember that time the Billy Birkin totally beefed it? <laughs> woogie, woogie, woogie. Ain't you Hawaiian say Billy B carry large stick? Compensate for small dick. Shaka Cobra! Okay, uh, we're gonna need to pull up a handgun and fire fast at zombie dogs. John Freeman, who's going for you, brother? Give me strength. All right, that's all four of those. Now our only chan, except it's not. <laughs> Chris Redfield is not our only chan. Son, whenever Chris is trying to make uh, or no, G <laughs> hold on, I'm, I'm workshopping a really dumb idea in my head that you probably already know what it is. <laughs> whenever Chris wants to make Claire jealous, he wears his. My star's partner calls me Oni Chan 2 shirt. Yeah, look at this perfectly placed precinct key. Just piss me off. Just to piss me off. I'm not even going in that. Well, we can poke our head in here, I guess. See if there's any enemies. Oh! Yeah, that's, that's what I want. That's what I'm going to deal with. At least I've got a big, fat RGB scart heel, son. Had to mod my NTSC item box to even be compatible with that RGB scart heel, son. Wait till I get my ZX Spectrum set up. Ooh. Ah ha ha. <laughs> Did I say I hate it burning dogs with a flamethrower, boy? Because it's a Saturday fucking evening, son. A slobber knocker in the entranceway room. Oh no. <laughs> I was so bold. I was so bold and foolish! My ammo won't run out, and then I don't have to die. Okay, was that my last bullet? It was. The life of the wife is in the bread of knife! There's too many of y'all, and they're cheating. We've almost got them. I know we do. Okay. Sport fucked in the corner! Valentine style! This is the day you almost sport fuck Jill Valentine. Okay, we did a good job. This gun goes into the dead zone. William, uh, Christopher Walken, excuse me, <laughs> is available for comment. All right. Yeah, this is like, it's been intense, but fun. This has been a stern but fair randomizer as we've gone. Okay. Next course of action is going to have to be to run past the dogs upstairs 
Past the star's office. We don't have innate lockpick, do we? No. And uh, through the library. But at least we've cleared out some hallway. Oh, yeah, I want to check this room right here, but I can't do it until I have, like, the submachine gun or grenade launcher or something. Either that or we're just going to have to tank <laughs> the poison. Play through the poison. That's what I say, and I'm Jim Varnish, snake handler character. <laughs> From Ernest Saves Christmas. I turned into <laughs> Uncle Ruckus towards the end. Jim Varney was the finest thespian I'd done ever laid my eyes on. Okay, let's see. Nothing bad will be out here. Let's all lie to ourselves together. It's not a lie if we all believe it, Jerry. Hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Stay sharp. What's going on? How come you look so scared? I'll destroy all of you, stars, along with this entire place. What? Sure. We should get a better grip on the situation. I don't think you want to die just yet. Well, we ran into Captain Albert Wesker, and Jill indirectly threatened to shoot him. <laughs> and then when she pointed out he looked scared, he immediately let slip his plans. He's like, I look scared, do I? Well, you'll be quite scared when I murder all the stars. Indeed. Yes, you're right. See, Geo was telling us that we were right. All right, Wesker, what were you guarding down here? Uh-huh. Didn't want me to have a moderate heal. Shameful. Shameful. Oh, God, he's like movie Wesker. He can't be hit. What was that off screen? Oh, it's just the edge or something. Excuse me. Okay, please don't let the library be full of spiders or anything else bad. Amen. Hey, you! Oh, uh, there are more of you upstairs, aren't there? Or you can hit me through the floor or some other fucking nonsense. Some other fucking nonsense. Cannon ass Mr. X. Piss me off. Cannon as in he's the RE2 Mr. X. Okay, well, let's get around you crowd. Hey, I want to check an item. Stop punching me. Stop punching me. <laughs> Come on. Uh, that's not bad if it's just one of you. You're fairly ignorable. That's my favorite thing about you. Emergency ladders. Asking you what's the matter. And if you order seafood at the restaurant, you might as well get the platter. Son, you get scallops and shrimp and oysters and clams. My God, I'm going to pass out think about it. Thank God we practiced the <laughs> empty ass savoring. And once again, I can't stop loving this RE1 remake music. Okay, good, good. Things are coming up for Jill Valentine. If we could just find a little bit more usable ammunition or a gun that uses some of our current ammunition, we'll be spoiled, boys. All right, we eventually want to turn the valve handle, but we've got to get more of a bearing of our situation. See how much shit we got to run past with the knife, son. Luckily, as FPS Doug always points out, you run faster with the knife. Yeah, this is my typewriter. It owns. It owns! I could type all day, I could type all day. <laughs> Try and typeface me. Word processors. Don't tell FPS Doug about him. He calls it cheating. It's like a TAS to him. Okay, good. It's just bees. Bees are a break room. I guess bees replaced crows. Hey, what are you fucking doing cheating inside the damn doorway? Okay, well, I can't really 
uh, do anything about this crowd with my current loadout because this knife ain't gonna cut it, unfortunately, as good a pun as that is. If I could throw the both of you on the ground and run past you, well, at least you, I can just kick damn head off. Now, remember, we've been out here before. Ah, uh, damn. What to do, what to do. We can't, we haven't checked all the East office because there are damn plant monsters in there. Ironically, if we just save some flamethrower or spark shot, we'd have an easier time of dealing with them. On the one hand, I wish I had the valve handle. Oh, I got real close to the microphone because I literally doing that cliche thing where my eyes are closed and I'm holding like the bridge of my nose in between my two eyes with my uh, index finger and thumb on my right hand. So you get a good visual. Oh, dear God. There's only a couple of items downstairs we haven't we can access right now readily. Tell you what, this is like a doomed timeline where I'm probably going to restart, especially since one of y'all gave me a nice handy pro tip on to press F9 and bring up a reset menu. So since we're not worried about getting damaged or poisoned, I'm just going to tank past the plant that's guarding this uh, office in here and get all the checks because it's a rich environment. It's like the height gave. Okay, you weren't part of the plan of plants that I was ignoring. Okay. Oh, well, you didn't even care I had plant immunity. He saw I had another plant's jizz all over my face, and he was like, nah, man, I ain't about that. Okay, that's definitely something we needed. Woohoo! That's something I would have eventually needed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the plant jizz. Yeah, I wish I had the fucking tube to shoot them out of. Hey, look! I didn't think they made these anymore. Chicka chicka what what? I can't really do anything with six of them against these plant monsters, but it's good to have them. All right, we're going to make a ballroom blitz dash past these dogs. Dashing past doggos, son. Another entry in the Dealing with Dragon series. Please let me examine this before y'all sport fuck me. No, it's not fair. They ran a nonstop infinite sport fuck train. I hate all of you so much. I've always hated you the most. Yeah, okay, there we go. It was inevitable. It's too many dogs. Too many dogs. <laughs> okay, well, we'll load that save upstairs. We know those damn zombies are going to immediately be in that room, and we're going to have to take one bite, because whoever programmed whatever algorithm places the enemies I either couldn't or didn't care to put some sort of limiter where they can't be literally undodgeable. Frame one. They have such good startup. Do we want to try to just tank past them? Yeah, we'll take our, uh, we'll take some heals with, I don't, well, we got that one blue herb right there, so I don't mind as much if we had to use that just for a non-poison heal. Don't tell Jim Farney Snake Handler, son, he doesn't even acknowledge it. He's like, all right, what type of poison be this? I'm like, it's not really poison. They got like slashed by a claw. It just needs to be healed. He's like, but, but, poison? <laughs> I'm ready to suck the poison. I've got my sucking lips licked. Okay, uh. This time now, hopefully we can just uh, kind of avoid these guys. Okay, good. We can check this. Hey, hey, hey. I can be your herb friend. Hey, hey, you, you. I don't like your zombies with your... Bill shirt, Bill Collins. Well, look at you, Green Pants Johnny, thinking he's slick. Uh, I thought I had frame data. I thought I had frame data. You never have frame data against RE2 zombies. It just don't happen. I was going to say, please don't let there be enemies out here that I've got to somehow kill before I can turn this damn valve. I just say we're not having too difficult a time this randomizer, but we are having to have to earn shit. The key things that are going to turn this thing around is getting a hold of mainly the grenade launcher, but I wouldn't turn down a submachine gun. Hell, I wouldn't turn down a deagle. I ain't picky. Oh, uh, how you tease me. Laugh with me, Jill Valentine. Laugh with me. 
Oh, ain't you crap fuck pleasant. If you've got the room to dodge, they're not the worst, but the problem is we keep encountering them in uh, little hallways and crevices. Now that's a pen and paper role-playing series. Hey. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so if push comes to shove, we know that this isn't 100% necessary out here. It's just some nice items t to have. Hey, Grandma, I bought you some deagle bullets to shoot. Okay, please don't. Please don't, dogs. Come on, dogs. Why you gotta be like this, dog? Why you gotta be like this? That's eh, not the worst. Dog alley. Dog gun alley. Okay, we're gonna have to tank our way through the zombies again, <laughs> unfortunately. So the problem is the RE2 knife takes like 30 stabs to kill a zombie. It's ridiculous. They made it in direct response to how good Japanese players got at clearing Resident Evil 1 with just the knife. I'm sure Shinji Mikami thought it was distasteful. Like that time Bobby Flay won Iron Chef and jumped up on the counter. Son. That guy that bites into the bell pepper was probably just didn't know what was happening. His brain couldn't register such gaijin <laughs> dishonor. He never anticipated that when he opened the hallowed halls of Kitchen Stadium to the barbarians of the West. Always from the West. I wouldn't mind making you dive at me like trying to get Brad Vickers' secret key just so I could be rid of you. But the problem is I don't want to get extra bites. Extra bites. It's like when your werewolf girlfriend hasn't seen you in a while. <laughs> Son, she's like, next full moon, you're getting extra fights. They're non-negotiable. Okay. Well, we got some things accomplished. Didn't fuck up too bad, which is always good for us. <laughs> That's the standard we've set so far for ourselves. Look at all them juicy acid rounds. Dying to be fired. Well, we're having such a good streak that I don't want to jinx it, so let's just burn an ink ribbon and save, save, save the mortal wounds away. I'm keeping this, like, horrible Claire save as a memento, but I think we're ready to surpass it. I've only drank three Voodoo Rangers this evening, as opposed to the multiple of three that I drank at the beginning of that, uh, Claire B one. So... Limiters are still engaged. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's mad in Brian Irons' office. Hey, I don't blame him. No enemies are going to be in here. Now I'm going to shed a single tear. I hate all of you so fuck much. Goddamn giant ass fuck. Well, at least they're not the worst thing. <laughs> hey, one fucking enemy is going to get it. We could use it on a, uh, like a particularly annoying tyrant or William Birkin if he appears in a particularly bad hallway. I don't know if you crowd respawn or not. I don't think the crows did. It's mainly just the G mutants that respawn. Of course, you haven't been very aggressive either. They're like regular bees. Generally, if you just leave them alone, they don't really give shit about you. I got stung by a bee once as a kid, and it's because I put my hand, I was sitting on a swing at my grandparents' porch, and I put my hand down and didn't realize a bee was there. I wasn't even looking. And like my thumb landed on top of it, and it just immediately stung me. So the only thing to save me was my granddad used to smoke a pipe, and he had his pouch of tobacco. And he was like, put that on your thumb there. He, <laughs> he didn't talk like that at all, by the way. This is a different grandfather from the uh, Sopranos psychiatrist <laughs> uh, anecdote grandfather by the way okay um well we got everything for the library but it's full of tyrants petty tyrants now remember we need to get downstairs and get that damn club key you know what we could do we could use that rocket launcher to just obliterate one of the plants down there I'm not against it I'm not against it son I, I'm for it
I guarantee Brad Vickers when he's running his smear campaign against Jill. <laughs> when they're both campaigning to be elected the new captain of stars after Wesker's deception of Resident Evil 1. It's like Jill Valentine approved using a one-shot rocket launcher to kill a regular ivy plant monster. Talk about wasteful. Brad Vickers kicks four-shot rocket launchers out of a helicopter to help you be the boss. And later, when Jill's being interviewed on the talk show, she's like, uh, did Brad point out the fact that the only reason we had to beat that boss is because he uh, abandoned us in the woods to be killed by zombie dogs? <laughs> And then the whole audience and the host all turn towards Brad, and he's just sweating. Okay, good. We found items that we want. We blew up a plant monster that we hated. And if I recall correctly, there were some bonus handgun bullets back here. To garnish slightly. Our only chan edge. Chicka chicka wah wah indeed. Indeed. Okay, now we've got to start deciding how we're going to deal with these damn dogs. If we could get them all in a corner. But the problem is, is friends show up. Dogs, zombie dogs believe in the power of friendship, and I hate that about them. I'm like the villain in a shoujo anime. I despise it. It's cheating is what I call it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, we could open this drawer down here. That'll be a path to our future. Our future drawers, as it is. I hear the Beavis and head types giggling. How many people still use the term drawers <laughs> as a synonym for underwears or pants, I believe, you crowd, on different sides of the ocean column? Okay. Okay. Let's get out of hurt belly status. See what's going on here. Hey, that's actual respectable bullets. I didn't think they made that anymore. Okay. So we've got spider room. We've got dog hall. With this many handgun bullets, we could actually deal with all those dogs. But we could also try for miracle shot Beretta shots against the spiders. But we're probably going to get poisoned if we do that. And there's three checks. There's either two or three checks in there. I don't want to use another ink ribbon, but... Let's see. Let's clear out this uh, east hallway side first. That's my... plan of action. Let's pray for some miracle shots. Miracle shot Oni-chan to show up. Our new favorite... Manga protagonist. I hate that you were placed so that I could just change the camera angle and then you'd be like, Oh, I jumped in the frozen time. I teleported behind you. The chaos it rules. <laughs> the chaos it rules. You'll notice we got two uh, Miracle Shot Oni Chan crits, but I was too mad. Oh no! <laughs> it's so shameful. Uh, did it, were y'all counting my shots at home? Be honest. <laughs> How many y'all knew? How many y'all knew that my day of reckoning was coming? My humbling. God, I wish I could make the enhanced uh, Samurai Edge ammo from Resident Evil 3. Oh, <laughs> spiders. Everyone loves them. God, I w we're going to have to save before we deal with any of these spiders. If we had the damn heart key, we'd have a whole basement of exploration, son. The sky would be the limit. The world would be our oyster. So many of these things would all be true. All right, we're going to save, and then we're just going to have to do some uh, spider research. Like Peter Parker. You know, I'm tempted to check out the clock tower as well, son. Oh, the scissor man ain't up there. Scissorman. Scissorman! You know, I played through the first clock tower for Halloween once. I think it was 2018. That takes me back. 
Ten Faith Farms remembers. All right. And if we find the detonator, that'll also be nice. Wouldn't turn down a diamond key, neither. You're like, so basically any plot, it could progress to Hey, got it. <laughs> got it. It's like being in the middle of the desert and being like, you know what I'd go for right now? Just a big old pitcher of water. A wash basin full. Just don't spill it. Lesson you kill it. Okay, yeah, we're going to do... The clock tower because if we get up there and it's nothing worth worrying about right this second then any damage we take from the mr x's or tyrant if you must refer to him by his professional name uh you squished along forward enough <laughs> that i've got to reset you i got you i got you yeah everybody knows you're the secret ghost in the shell zombie whose <laughs> optic gamma doesn't quite work Yeah, if he'd have spawned in the middle of the walkway, it'd have been real aggravating. Hey, idiots. Okay, yeah, everyone's real fucking impressed. With your waffle stomping ways. Oh, beat you to the door, please. No enemy right outside here grabbing me. Thank you. No, I'm staying. Okay, it's just the bees. Sneeze, baby. I don't know if we've just gotten lucky with the bees or if they just are not aggressive. Okay, one of you. Don't cough up any babies during the cutscene, man. That's disrespectful. That should have crushed you. Physics says no. Okay. Well, it's better than having three Nemesi up here. Good God. Now, I don't believe it gives Claire the option to jump down the shaft. Oh, you're hitting me in the hip during the cutscene through the floor. Shinji Mikami should have accounted for this shenanigans. Oh, that's right. This thing is fucking cannon. In this randomized world. Oh, man. You're going to body block me in here? That ain't right. That ain't right, man. Okay, thank you. Uh, I want to do this last library check, but it's probably not going to be easy. Probably not going to be easy either, <laughs> but easy probably won't be evolved neither. I was going to say, if I could fall through the floor, can he follow me down here? Uh, it doesn't matter because they're just allowed to attack you. Oh no, we're getting that thing where there's too many enemies in here and I can't open the menu, which means I can't heal or nothing. Actually, oh, I can't pull my knife out. I was going to say, couldn't I just be knifing you? It'd be real knife, Mr. X, if you get the hell out of my way. Just saying. Just saying. Once again, I don't think he has any items. I fucking hobbled my ass out of there. Well, <laughs> we got out of the room, but at what cost? But at what cost? Uh, quite a bit. I'm going to limb here and say, well, we obviously can't go in there and accomplish anything in this state. Oh, woe is me, Claire Redfield. This is the best music for these dark times I found myself in. Uh, there's the push statues out here. We still haven't checked, but uh, dogs, dogs were declared. I don't know if y'all remember that, but dogs were declared. Jill looked up there and said, I declare if that ain't the most dogs I ever seen. I'm gonna have to go sit on the plaza for a spell and drink me an Arnold Palmer. Just to calm my frazzled, delicate feminine nerves. I'm gonna go out stabbing. I might not hit anything, but I'm still gonna go out stabbing, boys. They'll know. When these dogs look back on these times, they'll know what it cost them. <laughs> A couple of stabs. And then they got some juicy stars meat. That's some five star meat. <laughs> they pulled off that woman. Damn. Dogs are tough. Tough dogging to... Noggin? Is that a thing? To bargain. That works. Okay, well, Operation the Clock Tower doesn't really matter right this second. So we can put that on hold for just a moment. 
So our next plan is spiders. Which spiders? I guess we'll check the club area spiders as they're known. Uh, let's take our big fat heel with us. Our big fat poison curing heel. Now, if we go the other way, there's those couple of zombies in that hallway, but we do have ammo to deal with them, but we also need this ammo to unload in those spiders as we pray for criticals. Miracle shots, I believe they're known as. That zombie's our mascot. Ra ra rombi, kick him in the zombie. Ra ra rash, kick him in the other zombie. It's a subversion of expectation. Son Ryan Johnson would shed one tear as he clapped. Hey guys. Hey, 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 hey! Come on, miracle shot. I don't know if that was a miracle shot or if we just shot him enough that he died, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, I did. Couldn't tell if you were there because you're a mess of gangly limbs, like your brothers. Am I in danger? There's no way to know. I don't want to eat my heel until you're all done. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to eat my heel because I hate you spiders. And I don't want to miss a thing. That sucked. We almost got them all. Well, <laughs> next course of action. Let's try the uh, West Side Records room. <laughs> there, maybe there's less spiders in there. Miss Muffet, unreachable for comment. Don't think we need to take any of that with us. Okay. If the diamond key is over there, that'll be super convenient. Because we can immediately check the interrogation room. Headless today, my good man. That's like when you get tired of seeing your sleep paralysis demon all the time. And she just start critiquing him. Especially if the hat man appears. Oh, we went 100 miles in the wrong direction. Just as an excuse to drink some water. Did we leave an item out here? I can't remember. Maybe it was magnum bullets? Did we dream? Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jill Valentine fighting a single magnum bullet is her. Sideshow Bob repeatedly stepping on rakes. Uh, also, don't forget... I can't remember, are we in a time... We, we did use our small key in here already, didn't we? I was going to say, yeah. We could check upstairs. God, if the grenade launcher or something is in the upstairs <laughs> uh, cabinet. Don't be so upset. I might even get miffed. Rather miff. Idiots. Uh, hey, 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 miracle shot Oni Chan. That's going to be my master plan. Wow, that was fantastic. When God spawns a bunch of spiders, he opens your inner. Miracle shot Oni Chan I, son. Some AI in the future will make that a real thing. Okay. Hey, it's actually the first red herb we've come across in the wild. And a green herb to mix with. I mean, this is nice that we did this and we got real lucky with those miracle shots, but unfortunately, it does not advance the game state. Uh, we're just going to have to. Pray that we take out the spiders over here because that's really our only current course of action. The action man. Not today, Wesker. Not 
day. All right, we're going to have to use our abundance because I know I don't have the club key with me, but my current plan is to get rid of the spiders. Then we can come back once we've achieved our goal. Because I don't really want to burn another ink ribbon, although it would be nice to lock in this timeline where we got so many miracle shots like we just did right then. Like we just did right then. I love this timeline. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, I'm nervous, so we're going to do this. I know it's not necessarily the smartest move. Oh, there's a fucking ship of y'all in here. I had no idea. Uh, Operation Tank and Spank might not work then, unfortunately. Unless we get super fucking lucky with this knife, but yeah, I was about to say he's going to start hitting us eventually. Um, damn. Well, maybe that we've killed enough of them that we can run around them now. That we can run around them now. Oh, man. Discouraging. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. Now, don't forget we do have blue herb in our item box. Yeah, we're certified bad off. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. We're just going to have to go with the hope that we can run past enough of those spiders now that we've cleared out, like, at least four of them, I want to say. Ah, oh, if we had the deagle right now, it'd be so fucking satisfying, boys. Thick, juicy desert eagle. Now, we can't even do all the checks over there because we don't have the lighter to do the lighter puzzle. So that's disheartening. That's disheartening. All right, let's go for it. Something's got to be over there. Either the heart key or the diamond key. Or the other red jewel, maybe. I'm just speculating. It's like when Spike Spiegel's trying to figure out what the hell is, like, <laughs> incapacitating everybody on the ship in Toys in the Attic, one of my favorite Bebop episodes. And he comes up with a theory that ends up being, like, true about some kind of mutated creature. But Faye gives him the most shit for it. I've always hated that because I'm like, Faye, you didn't even come up with nothing. You were too busy cheating Jet out of his drawers with your cheat dice. Your drawer stealing cheat dice. Well, we were having a good run of it with these dogs for a second there. But they've got us in the, the sport fuck corral where they get their frame data just fucking perfect. So we're going to leave them be for a second. Might pop in there and try to like take out one dog at a time. Huh. A regular ass crawling zombie. Might even be able to kill it with a knife. It'd be much safer to just get behind him. Jump up on the zombie's back. Yeah, nobody feels bad for you. Hey! <laughs> Scart, once again. We'll be playing our Mega Drives with the best graphics. Of course, it'll be running at, you know, 50 hertz, so don't expect the music to be right or anything, but <laughs> you got to have something to brag about. Um, well, with these handgun bullets, we might be able to endure some of these dogs. There's got to be something in this room, right? <laughs> Am I missing something super obvious? All right, here is the hope. I can't believe it worked. Hell yeah. And our reward, if I could ever get to the other side of this table. Okay. We need to start thinking and supposing and fixing and figuring now. Because something ain't quite right in the state of the RPD today. What obvious thing have I not checked? Okay, you crowd had to get your one final fucking cheap shot in. 
problem is I have to come back down here. Well, I hope when I come back later, I've got a grenade launcher or an SMG. You crowd will learn your lesson, picking on me. I'm like Slappy Squirrel drinking her milk. I'm gonna grow up. Powerful. Comedically powerful. Um. Mm, damn, what am I trying to think of? We've done the valve handle thing. I don't think I died in that timeline, so we don't have the diamond key. The only thing I can think of now is the damn library with the Mr. X's. But all my Mr. X's live in Texas, huh? Maybe since we took out that one <laughs> Mr. X, that'll be enough that uh, it doesn't like lock up the room or fuck up the rotation it's our only hope at this point let's preemptively make our fat heal I don't want to use this until after I've like tanked like one Mr. X hit <laughs> they're like what if you just didn't get hit by Mr. X I'm like mm, mm, I don't know it's kind of kind of talk kind of kooky there buddy just saying not very realistic. I did it somehow. <laughs> I proved you right. Okay, can I be allowed to press the button this time? Okay, that's a start. Now let's see if I can move these shells before Mr. X decides that that's a bad thing he doesn't want to see happen. And our reward for this nonsense is the cord? <laughs> I died from sadness, and then he just walked all over me. Waffle stomped. This is a nightmare Jill Valentine has found herself in. A genuine nightmare. Well... I've got to start thinking and supposing and figuring now. We didn't leave anything outside when we turned the valve handle. Let me make sure I didn't dream, because I know we went out there and did the valve handle stuff, but did we die afterwards? Because I remember going in this room over here and it was just some crawling zombies. Yeah. I don't think there's any item in here we missed. There wasn't the secret ammo that you usually find in Leon A. Oh yeah, I forgot these fucking moths were in here. Yeah, there's like a box of shotgun shells over here in Leon A, but there's nothing for Claire. Oh, you know what we need to do? The damn push statue. Yep, that's what we haven't done. Well, we got a little bit of ammo. Hopefully enough to humble those smug fucking dogs. And unlock our true destiny. I don't want to go through the library. Well, no. We can run a wide path around Mr. X. I believe we've proved to ourselves that last run where we didn't get hit, <laughs> where you reverse psychologized me. Psychologied me. You're like, it doesn't matter to you. It's not a real word, Uncle Tim Fay. <laughs> reverse psychology is not a verb that you could put in past tense. You could say we employed reverse psychology. I'm like, you're doing it again now. Now you're just gaslighting me. Okay, good. You crowd are so fucking ignorable. I hate to be one to tell you this. The fact that nobody <laughs> adds you to their friends list might have been a subtle hint. Just saying. That might have been a wake-up call. All right, dogs out here who think they're hot shit. Fucking shit, getting hit. Jill Valentine never quits killing dogs. Okay, can we save a little bit of ammo? A little bit of ammo. Once again, I don't know why this is working and we're getting like this dramatic opera, Lisa Trevor music. <laughs> but I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. Frame data, frame data, frame data. I'm like Cody fucking Travers with this knife, son. Miss me with those dog bites. All right. Come on, Red Jewel Chan. Where's my Red Jewel at? If this is a cannon Red Jewel, I'll be happy. As long as that bust of Phallus over there has something in it. 
worth wanting. If it's worth having, then it's worth wanting. <laughs> I guess. Uncle Tepe? I don't know if that counts as deep. Like, I ain't trying to be deep, son. I'm just spitting truth. Oh. <laughs> what a uh, seamless loop of <laughs> the background music. I thought the game got mad that I pushed that statue. All right, we wished the miracle shotgun in the last one from the robot fuse arm in the Umbrella Lab. So, that, uh, don't tell me their damn corpse is somehow blocking the statue. All right. Are we going to have to do the first one again? Uh, I was going to say, let's hope that we get the miracle uh, diamond key. Okay, good. At least it saves the one statue. I believe when speedrunners are playing the, you know, vanilla game, they do one statue push as they come through and then the other one the other way. I guess it just works out because you're like right here by the store when you finish pushing this one, maybe. All right, I desperately need that to be the good shit, buddy. Oh, yeah. All right, Danny Elfman, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but there's only one place for us to go now. It starts with a B and it rhymes with facement. He's like, you're going into the jacement? The zacement? I don't know what you expect to find in the bloody pacement. <laughs> I don't know if Danny Elfman is British. I just assume he is. His name is Elfman. Come on, come on. <laughs> like, what the hell does that have to do with being British? Seems like you haven't spent any time across the pond. I haven't either, but I have watched a bit of the telly that comes from that region. Picked up a few things. Boy, you got a license for watching that British telly on your internet, Uncle Denfe. We're gonna bust your legs up. Alright, the first step to farting our way to the basement is ignore Billy B. Thank God. <laughs> it's the best spot. At first I was like, oh, it's terrible that we spawned him in that hallway. But thank God Shinji Mikami had the foresight to realize that enemies' <laughs> weapons clipping through walls is bullshit when the player characters doesn't. He saw into the future of the Soulsborne game, son. I do have my key, don't I? Yes. Oh, don't forget our club key. I'm glad you kids screamed from the past to protect the randomized... I did that backwards. <laughs> you screamed into the past to protect the randomized future. There you go. Clutched it. Don't forget we left one plant friend in here. I use that term quite ironically. Yeah, shambly way over here, buddy. That's what everybody wants you to do. I can see the plant jizz forming inside of you, son. I see all the crusty plant socks in your room that stand up on their own. I know what's going on. I know you're on 4chan slash plant board, son. Oh, I thought you were a crawling zombie, but you're one of those zombies that starts crawling and gets up to walk. Alright, well, we found our other small key for the upstairs cabinet. Okay, there's green pants. Oh, we almost managed to run past all of them, son. There's way too many of you. I thought maybe opening the map would somehow confuse the game into not fucking me to death, but it didn't work. <laughs> but it didn't work. God damn, I need a power weapon, son. Uh, 
not really what I meant, Mr. X. Damn. I'm not even going to get to check any of the shit in this room before I get clobbered, probably. Sport fucked by tyrants. <laughs> More at 11. Dang it. Well, now we know about the zombie corridor. We can take that into account when we're calculating the next version of the plan. The plan is a living document, son. Sometimes you got to breathe new life into it by figuring out what the hell you're going to do because Shinji Mikami's ghost has forbidden you to have good weapons. I'm there like the Vita Electrics guy with that <laughs> dry erase board with Shinji Mikami's ghost there hanging his head down and written on it is just says, good weapons. Okay, zombies in the hall. Everyone's favorite troop. We're just going to tank our way down to the basement this time and skip the night watch room. Much as that might pain you. Oh, God, we talked too much shit about Billy B and he was finally allowed to hit us. And it's made everything worse. It's made everything worse. We're caught in a Billy B fuck loop. I ain't got enough problems in my life. I got the Billy B fuck loop. The worst rockabilly singer name, son. And don't even joke about getting him into Guilty Gear. You think Bad Man and Soul Bad Guy and Potemkin want anything to do with him? Least of all, Dr. Faust. There's also Johnny. <laughs> You're like, somehow saying that there's a Guilty Gear character just named Johnny <laughs> seems the most unrealistic of all, Uncle Tenfe. I don't blame you. I'm tempted to tell you there's one named Tao Kaka, but there's not. Anyone who's watched 1AM Gaming knows that she lives in Blaze Blue. Okay. I'm gonna pop in here, grab these items like we did the first time, which includes some much needed handgun ammo. All right, I want to try to run past as many zombies as possible, get grabbed once, and then eat that herb. If we get passed around too much, I'll probably just die. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay, we got grabbed in kind of the same place. We can take a few steps forward, start dropping motherfuckers, pop, pop, watching brain pants motherfuckers drop. Did you see him try to burn meter? Damn, even with a lucky headshot crit. Shoo! We had to get two miracle shots, but we made it through. I told you we were going to earn that shit this time, son. Oh, no. So if you're not in the know, this is that most infamous track, the... Resident Evil Director's Cut DualShock Edition basement music. I've actually found it to be fairly creepy the first time I played Resident Evil 1, but I can see how people meme on it. It's definitely not as intense as the regular music is. I'll give it that much. Plus, I mean, a bunch of clowns farting in trombones would be pretty fucking scary anyway. Even if it was that Phoenix Wright parody animation clown that everybody wanted to fuck a while back. Hey, the lighter! Another thing Resident Evil men are promised. Oh god, we've got... You're gonna get eat by big shark music, I believe. <laughs> the thing, the shark tank. Running past dogs, running past dogs. Can't hear a frog when you're running past dogs. I'm so scared for there to be enemies. I don't want to clack my feet. I need my old-timey southern feet-clacking lawyer from the last one. Hey, a gun. I have surprisingly haven't found any gun bolts yet, but I appreciate having another weapon option. Now, we're probably going to proc the sherry scenario here when we leave this safe room, so let's keep that in mind. 
Let's keep that in mind. I was so worried there was going to be some ridiculous enemies in here. Well, that's something we need. Woohoo, that's something we needed. Alright, you can live down here with the other key items. Including a literal key. I don't want to save until after we do the Sherry scenario so that we don't have to do it every time. I inevitably have to reload my save. So let's just hope that nothing bad happens during the actual encounter, depending on who we proc as our Sherry Birkin. Right back at you. Son of a bitch! Who brought you here and where is your family? Put a sock in it. idea what you're babbling about please come back here this blows i was kicking ass well we brought claire redfield as our sherry perkin also i love the running bit of kevin ryman just showing up <laughs> and being a sullen dick once again it's very in canon with his character you know, there's actually an, an OMG Kevin video on my channel featuring Kevin Ryman. Ah, oh, damn it, we don't have guns and shit. The LAPD hates Sherry Perkins' segment, and I agree with them. Any Resident Evil segment without guns, they don't approve of, son. They, the Tofu Survivor might as well not exist. I just noticed that we have no ponytail. Those are actual canon. Well, I don't know if they're the ones that would normally be there, but you would normally find six regular grenade rounds there as Sherry to throw to Claire. And these two dogs are actually canon to, to the A scenario. It's the only reason I didn't bitch and moan. Oh, what are you looking at? There's not enemies, are there? Bees. Ah, oh, we're going to have Sherry bark and push speed. <laughs> Dario's up there watching. He's like, it's not so easy, is it? I just lost my daughter out there. <laughs> he locked himself in the back of that tractor trailer truck because it was full of Lunchables. But then when he saw it was the regular sandwich cracker kind and not the kind where you make your own little terrible pizza, he, that's when he tried to leave and the zombies got him. God, there was a summer I remember. I'd be home at the house by myself because my mom would be at work. <laughs> and I would just sit on the couch and watch The Price is Right on main TV and on my little second CRT that I had my PlayStation hooked up to. I'd play Legend of Dragoon. And at lunchtime, I'd eat one of them pizza lunchables, son. I was living like a fucking king. I actually cut yards to get money to buy Legend of Dragoon, son. I earned that shit. I've never once finished that game either. Oh, come on, there ain't nothing down here. I got pretty far in it. I wonder when they'll bring that back. You know, it's surprising they haven't like re-released or remastered Legend of Dragoon. You gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. Wesker. And stars were umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Don't screw up again like you did when you dropped that rope. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of STARS. You don't want to go back out there. Don't screw up again like you did when you dropped that rope. Son Geo giving Wesker the business. Also, I feel like he's coping and seething about, like, not needing STARS. I'm like, well, then why do you bring them up every conversation apropos of nothing? Son, when Wesker's in the drive-thru at McDonald's to get a McFlurry and they tell him the ice cream machine is broken. 
He's like, Chris! All right. All right, and okay. Well, we want to check as much downstairs as we can. Remember, there's a couple of annoying dogs up there. The bow gun might help us with them. I do want to use up this save just so I don't have to do that segment again. So let us save. Well, if we have to reload this save, at least we don't have to worry about storing ink ribbon. <laughs> That's how we make lemonade out of lemons around here, son, when it comes to save items. Save the save items. Dogs. Yeah, yeah, everyone thinks you're real fucking threatening, buddy. Okay, this thing fucks dogs up. The clowns farting and trombones hate it. Oh, God almighty, anyone wants to deal with you. Like, anyone wants to deal with you. Well, we don't have the key card to that door yet, so I'm not as worried about turning the power on, but there is at least one item in there. If he's the only tyrant that spawned, at least we can kind of just run around him. Oh, dear Jesus, I've got to deal with you crowd now. <laughs> Jill Valentine's life just filled with misery and woe. Wesker told her he'd fill her life with misery and woe, even if she quit. Or maybe it was Brian Irons. Dodging them liquors, dodging them liquors. I'm not Brad Bickers, dodging them liquors. I just got to see what this item is. We can't access the back area until we've advanced the game state enough that uh, Leon would have canonically pushed it with Ada. Oh, come on, guys. I just want to check this one fucking item. Why you got to be like this? Why you got to be like this, Lickers? And I barely know you, Crow. All right, in usual fashion, <laughs> it's been a couple of days. Going to approach this randomizer with a fresh point of view. From a certain fresh point of view. Oh, that's right, we're down here in the basement. I almost forgot the bad times that poor Geo Valentine has been put through. Oh, but it's so balanced. I'm already drinking water right to start with. I want to be perfectly hydrated for you kids, son. I'm actually recording on a Wednesday evening. Very rare. I had a slight burst of consciousness. All right, what is it we need to try to accomplish? Oh, that's right. I couldn't pick up that herb in the garage because those damn liquors. Mm, I guess we need to examine a couple of these rooms and just hope if we get messed up too bad, <laughs> we can always return by ink ribbon, son. Return by typeface. All right, I remember there's a couple of dogs, of course, getting up to no good. Right out here in the basement hallway, Danny Elfman put them there to try to teach us a lesson. I could use this bow gun to humble them fairly quickly, although I would love to use it on some of those damn zombies upstairs in the hallway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to save our resources. It's like this is a survival horror game, son. The randomizer makes the game seem like how people describe Resident Evil. Because even when I played Resident Evil originally in my youth, I don't recall ever being, like, desperately low on ammo and or heals. Need I remind you of the time my friend Chris, one of the Onion Boys, as the clowns fart in the trombones, <laughs> once loaded his save of the... Oh, no, I thought I'd unlock that! Damn it! Well, you know what? I'm just going to cheat. <laughs> now that I know how to cheat correctly with the F9 button, thanks to your helpful comments. Um, oh, but anyway, Chris had a save of the original Resident Evil Director's Cut for the PlayStation. He was telling me how he couldn't beat it when we were at school. 
I was like, son, I'll take a crack at her, son. I'm the kind of guy that knows a thing, too, about Resident Evil, son. Jail sandwiches? I have one every night for lunch. This would be nice to run all the way around to the press room. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of spiders over there, isn't there? I'm getting vague flashbacks. <laughs> Maybe I should have rewatched the footage before I start it. Or is it better this way? You're like, yeah, Uncle Tefe, it's much better when you're wandering around like an amnesiac asshole. Like your ring a bell from Bravely Default. It's a good reference. I know all you kids have played Bravely Default. Okay, we're gonna do this again. By the book, running past these dogs and not getting bit on the cheek of the ass, son. Never. Jill Valentine get bit on the cheek of the ass? No, sir. Okay, this time we're gonna get up, walk right over here. This crowd's gonna stand up and phase inside of each other's bodies. Okay, that weakened them. And now we should be able to dispatch them with other weapons. Other weapons! That includes this gun. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, are you weak enough that the knife can kill you? We're actually fighting zombies with the knife, son. You know times are tough. No bonus item here for Jill Valentine. Please, no enemies in the Night Watch room. <laughs> I've been through so much. Okay, I guess Mr. X lives in every room now. My God, this crowd's putting me through something. How many of y'all are even here in the hallway? Look, Jill is like a bird or... Like when you hold your cat up to the window and he sees a bird outside and you try to move him and his head just stabilizes like a chicken. Or big Cali Briggs shoulder pads. I could imagine Cali Briggs cosplaying as Jill Valentine if I wasn't already imagining Frey Crescent doing it. You got a cute Resident Evil lady, son? <laughs> I got Jess, the Dragoon lady to cosplay as her. Okay. Clowns, it, trombone, flatulence, sh activate <laughs> my Tenfei Ultra core memories. How am I going to get through this? It really is the perfect music to sum up how this randomizer has made us feel. Okay, we know there's a Mr. X tyrant in here. Is it just one? Listen to his cool guy music that plays when he's stalking towards you. I just want to check what's behind you. Okay, buddy! And your friends here. Everybody's here. Everybody loves it. Oh, look. Claire Redfield in the last episode would like to have that. Yeah, we're throwing this timeline away. I ain't even going to deal with that puzzle. Because we're just, this timeline is no good. Sonic the Hedgehog would warn you. If Tails, <laughs> that's what Sonic says. It cuts to Tails. And he's playing Resident Evil and he's getting mad at the game because he's being put through this exact same randomizer we're doing right now. And Sonic runs up and he's like, whoa, little buddy. Sounds like somebody's getting mad at video games and that's no good. Pop! 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 Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this improved the situation or not, but it felt good. It's like that time Dale Gribble, when Hank, Dale, Boomhauer, and uh, Bill, of course I wouldn't remember Bill's name, uh, jumped off that boat while they were out at sea in, you know, under trying to be impulsive. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Look at you just happen to pathfind your way right over to where I want to be. Oh, lawyer who gets me out of clacky foot sentences. Your Honor, my client was enticed and baited towards that green herb and of course the liquor claiming not to hear. Like if you, it doesn't matter, shut up. I plead guilty because it doesn't matter. Guess what? I'm going to take you with me. Fuck you. Look, I can stab too. It's not fun when it happens to you. You want me to lick you? Huh? You want Jill Valentine's tongue buried in your asshole? Motherfucker. Get on my level. I'm not mad. The audio levels. Don't don't look at them. I'm not mad. Yes, everyone thinks you're real cool. I like how we see your dead friend floating over there. Uh, anyway, in that episode of King of the Hill, I realized we're like five stages removed. The like plot of the episode was Hank's friends like telling Hank that he's like too boring and rigid and strict and following the rules and they can never like cut three free and be impulsive and they go on vacation 
And at one point, they rent a boat and go out in the water, and the three of them, Sans Hank, all jump overboard to go swimming out of like out of whim when the boat is parked. <laughs> I guess you would call it. And uh, Hank, trying to prove to them that he can be impulsive, jumps after them. But then it turns out nobody put like the ladder down, and the boat is so high up. It's like a big, big boat. It's high up above the water, and they can't get out of the water, and they're gonna drown. <laughs> at one point, Dale just swims underwater and pulls the propeller off the engine of the boat <laughs> just to try to achieve something. He ends up saving them, by the way, along with his secret cigarette and lighter or cigarette and matches that he keeps under his hat in a plastic bag, just like Judy Hopps' cell phone that she captured footage of the Night Howler factory. You kids have seen Zootopia, haven't you? Jesus. Oh, no! Why are you hiding around the corner? Ray, Ray, goddamn zombie. And here I was, proud of myself. That's the problem. My hubris generated him. Oh, I forgot about you. That's right, I used the spark shot to get rid of one of your friends. Oh, I hate this <laughs> layout we've brought. What was out here? Something pleasant? I think it was bees. Yeah, I hear you. Now, remember there are zombies upstairs in the hall. I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> we gotta light the thing in the press room to see what that is. Because I don't think we have all the stones, do we? Nobody tell Gary Oldman that. He gets real upset if you don't bring him the stones. Is there anyone in front of me? Jill Valentine's auto aim says yes. Okay. You're just kind of polygons and such with your creepy music. Ugh. Bowgun smoked. <laughs> Shit, Lord. Appreciating the bowgun. It's another thing the randomizer did for us. Yeah, you crowd are real intimidating. Okay, so we're up here now. <laughs> what did we achieve? We fought our way out of the basement. No thanks to Danny Elfman. Who just looked at us and sternly shook his head the whole time. As some kind of trippy chameleon man. Now we did that at one point, didn't we? But it didn't matter? And then the Mr. X's in the library killed us with their mind? Oh, we need to open the other desk drawer. That's something we could do. Together. What a fun activity. And nothing bad will happen. Oh, I forgot there's one of you G-mutants hanging out over there. Acting like they're hot shit. G-mutants love to do it to you. If I remember correctly, there's a spooky zombie down here that's like a floating head sometimes. Yep. He heard me talking about him. This ain't an episode of the Game Chasers. We don't need no floating heads. I remember there is at least one Mr. X already in here, and he's mad. I forgot I had to run wide around you. The Where's Wesker music doesn't make up for it. Oh, I'm hurt, Cap. I'm hurt. Okay. I mean, the Matilda, Heckler, and Cock. It's not bad, son. But I don't know if four bullets loaded into some Deutsch engineering is going to get us through these trying times. I've checked this multiple times, but I'm still going to keep checking it. Okay, okay. What did we leave laying around here? Apparently certain we full cleared the star's office. In fact, I guess if I say I'm rather certain. Bees in the star's office, boys. I think I made a joke about bit of honey. <laughs> like how we're flashback getting through this together. I just gotta make sure I checked all the crevices. I know we checked Wesker's desk, but it's fun to examine in the frozen time. Uh, Jill's like, I can't believe I had that haircut on picture day. On Star's office picture day. Look at that. You know, Chris caught that fish. He loves catching fish. 
Just look at his ending splash screen from Code Veronica. Yeah, that's right, we pushed these. Getting Resident Evil 3 vibes running through this part of the RPD as Geo Valentine. Obviously, I went by the boutique and got the stars uniform. It's the one I used the most when playing Resident Evil 3 back in the day, once I unlocked it. It's actually the easiest outfit to unlock. And one of the best. Did we ever get Brad Vickers key? We did. He drug it into hell with him. Oh, there was some spark shot bullets in here we never grabbed, see? Maybe I was being a fit irresponsible last time. Well, that's a gun. <laughs> Technically. We could use it to humble some of them damn tyrants that are stopping us from getting to the good items. Stopping us from eating at the good Denny's. Ah, fuck it, let's go for it. It'll just be a doomed timeline otherwise. Do we want to go for checking the other rooms as well? Let's see. Let's see. I mean, I want to take that with me just because there's four more handgun shots. But it is a shame that it takes up a whole inventory slot. We're going to get one item from the press room for using the slider. But when we go to the night watch room, it'll use up this club key and then we'll find two items in there and it's close enough to the basement that we can just run down there and store some items I'm confident part of being a stars member like Jill Valentine son is confidence she can make it on her own I forgot you were down here Billy you still ain't learned that you need to use a smaller weapon son switch to a dagger Go farm some Titanite. Put chaos on it. He strikes me as the kind of guy to be fairly chaotic. I never examined this corpse? <laughs> really? Okay. Gee, I wonder what'll be in the weapons storage room <laughs> once we go in there and open it. I'm sure it'll be nothing fucking unpleasant for a change. Well, let's store you for just a moment. Oh yeah, we still haven't found the detonator. It's got to be in one of these areas we're about to explore. It's gotta be. <laughs> I like how that one zombie rises up so ominously every time you run through here. Alright. Now, we cleared quite a swath through these spiders before. So I'm hoping we can just run past most of them. Oh, you had to be right fucking here and you had to poison me, so never mind, never mind. Oh, that must have been in like a damned timeline. Fuck. Well, shit. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Hey. Hey. You think this first time I get sport fucked by spiders in a hallway? Uh, playing as a Resident Evil lady in the RE2 randomizer? Son. Okay, thank you. I was waiting for that to happen. Look, I can F9, F9, skip that shit. Boys! Okay, well. Bye. Things have changed now that we're doing a better job of not forgetting the items. The randomizer has changed. Now, we still have to fight our way out of the basement this time. We could go ahead and use up this key along the way. Is that a good idea? No, because we'd have to deal with those two zombies next to that room. And I ain't ready for that level of commitment yet. We need these bogum bolts to get through the other zombies in the hallway. And this time we'll remember Ray Ray's around the corner. Unless he uses his instant transmission. Instantaneous movement. When he detects our power level. I expect to get hit by that dog every time. So if you're shocked that I don't, just know that I'm right there with you. Alright, bastards. I'm coming for you this time. Oh. Oh, if you could just all get clumped up together. It's what this weapon was made for. 
Once again, it's so nice and rare <laughs> to be able to actually utilize the bow gun for its intended purpose. When Deep Strikes this guy, I really don't mind if he grabs me, because I can insta-kill him. Of course, if it lets his friends catch up to me, I might care. If he keeps his friends close, oh. There we go. Did y'all bring Ray Ray with you this time? Thank God. Okay, so now what is the plan? We're going to run past this plant because he's not going to notice us. Ooh. He's like, I noticed you just got slow reflexes. Well, you look almost fully constituted, buddy. Look at you, and you're even floating. The Sins Fortress Merchant. Would find that real impressive, I'd like to think. Okay, we got to go grab all these items that we <laughs> did a terrible job of remembering to have last time. Now, I can't trust any of my memories, son. Was I being chased by dogs? I was being chased by dogs, I remember now. I blocked that memory out because it was so traumatic. This thing is full of spiders, but I think we came in there and checked it and it wasn't anything too mandatory. If I get the grenade launcher, oh, with all the acid rounds I have, because they basically one-shot spiders, we're going to be set. <sighs> I haven't... Have I burned this thing? I think there are little G-mutants in here. So we're just going to ignore them and get mad when that doesn't work. No, we haven't. Okay, well, there's another fun activity. I'm mad that ignoring you all didn't work. My prophecy came true. All right, well, we'll hit that up on the way back. Hey, Billy. Yeah, bye, Billy. Everyone just feels awful for you, Billy. <laughs> to quote... The Gang Green Gang. In that episode where Billy was like hanging out with the Powerpuff Girls for a while and then he went back to him. <laughs> oh, hey, Billy, we thought you was dead. Okay, I want this and this. Oh, yeah, we gotta go up. Well, that's the little Matilda hangout. We can grab that later. That's not integral to our current plans and ambitions. Although we are gonna grab this big ass thing as it's known. It's a BAT, son. Big ass thing. If you can't remember that acronym, just remember it spells BAT. And whenever you think of Rouge the Bat, you think of some big old things. You're like, thank you, Uncle Tanfei. Why couldn't school be more like that? Why couldn't they use... Sonic ladies to teach you everything. Just quietly running down the halls with purpose. Now, don't forget that you can't check the press room, idiot. Because Oh, yeah, I forgot to like that thing. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about Roosh the Bat. You kids understand. I was practicing the basics of BAT, son. All right, you little shits, what were you guarding? I can't remember if I've done this in a previous life. So we're going to try it now. Oh, uh, well, look who climbed up my ass to heaven. You're like, sounds like a good evening with Jill Valentine. I hate that you cry can hurt me in the cutscene. Okay, well, that's not a bad thing to have. Get off of my ass. Now we're on our way and can make it on our own. Little brother, give us the strength. Another heal for the heal pot. 
Okay, so we don't need you right this second till I've got more spider kill in ordnance. Are we going to go straight into checking the weapons room? That would be the most correct thing. Now, remember, the club key is not going to disappear, unfortunately. The bow gun, we need to humble a few of them zombies. Because remember, there are still zombies in the hallway. SpongeBob, this hall monitor, hasn't managed to stop the zombies in the halls. I've also got to get past that damn plant again, because he had to spawn right in the doorway. So tactically, son. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics. Jill Valentine Tactics, son. You hope you have Barry Burton as a guest character. Thunder God Barry. You know, Albus <laughs> would make a fantastic Albert Wesker. They're both blonde, and they're both huge assholes that think real highly of themselves. Which most assholes do. Why are you crowd down there? In harmony? Alright, we're gonna empty this bow gun in them and then it's gonna be knife to meet them. Figured I'd stand right here to entice them. Oh look, I'll stare out the spooky <laughs> window into the black night and not look behind me. Oh boy. The zombies are licking their lips, boys. Can't believe their luck. The green pants boys will be eating good tonight. <laughs> he absorbed all of the bolts for you, buddy. So you better make it count. I'm actually hoping he lunges at me. It's like when you're trying to get Brad Vickers' secret key in the base game. Because Brad Vickers is the super zombie. The uber zombie, they call it. I feel like stabbing him in the face would upset him. And it seemed to, which is good. Oh, uh, you thought I didn't know about Resident Evil 2 zombie lunge timing? Ass. Oh, no. Shin cutting's different now. You crowd can't hold that against me. Stabbing low gives you the most range. But I don't know if stabbing them in the face does more damage. I'd like to believe it does. Because it tracks so well. Oh, look at that. We now fought some zombies, scuff. Oh, no, I forgot you crowd were in here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we intentionally were coming here to fight them. Luckily, we spawned them in a pattern where they're not just immediately all upon us at the same time. So we can start deepsing them down. Deepsing them down. Please body block your friends for me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm praying and I'm spraying electric hell. Okay. God fuck, put me through something. Don't even have the DC to have items on you. Nothing useful. Nothing gain. Boys, it'd be hard to hook your Super Nintendo up to that TV. We're in extra caution. Good items. Regio Valentine, please. Okay, this is it. It's not going to be bad when I get a chance to heal myself. Okay. So we're getting there. We just need the other half of the blue stone because one of them is up in the clock tower. Being instilled with clock power. Uh, I don't want to get killed by these dogs now. That would be really aggravating. And having it accented by the Bart and trombone clowns would just make it worse. Okay, how are we going to deal with you, crowd? This thing? I'm not against it. I'm really hoping that it knocks them back, like shooting them with a handgun does. Oh! Oh no, I didn't realize you were independent entities. You were independent entities. The only chance they got. Oh! I think we got a miracle crit shot. Fuck you. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. I'm a member of STARS. Yeah, one last oorah <laughs> through the ass trombone. Ugh, I got a stitch in my side when I got mad right now. See, it's because I'm not properly hydrated. I want to drink some water, but I'd have to take my finger off the square button. And then I'd only walk at <laughs> this speed. 
I wish I had an ink ribbon right now. I've accomplished so much. I went so far and got so hard, and in the end, it kind of sort of mattered. Yeah, we were too bad off to go in there and activate the uh, power for this card, in case you're wondering why I just left. Give me that good shit. The red green sun, it's like making a deck in Magic the Gathering. You make a good deck with the red green sun. Splash a little white in there, son. Naya, I think they call it. That's where all, or at least a lot of, the cool cat people hang out. I can't say all of them because uh, Miri Cat Warrior's not from Naya, she's from Dominaria. But you all knew that already. Okay, what are we doing right now? <laughs> what is our current plan? We've got to go activate this weapons locker card thing. So we should be able to run past those two tyrants in that room. I'm just worried about what's going to be in the actual weapons room. You know what? Why risk it? Take a green arm. We're coming in. Could also be low on potassium, getting this side cramp. Of course, I did eat some nanner pudding yesterday. So... I don't know. Doesn't seem likely. If y'all were sitting there with House and you were his team, and you're going through that part of the diagnostics where they all suggest ideas for him to call them stupid over son, and before he tells them that the client needs mouse bites to live before Foreman gets vexed. Okay, I guess I'm sport fuck. I guess I'm sport fuck. I did it to myself. I did it to myself. Okay. This is, you've all played into my ninth dimensional plan. That guy seems stuck in the back. Okay, can you hit me when I'm flipping these switches? Because that would be real fucking shitty. Okay, good, he can't. No, I hear him walking! The terrible footsteps of the Mr. X. I can still hear them. All right. Maybe he's hung by the chimney with care. Okay, good. You walk. No, I got hung on a geometry reading really walk in a circle. I was living like a king. Give me that door. Jesus. All right. What's going to be in here? <laughs> Albert Wesker and uh, 45 tyrants having a rave, dropping E. Okay, Billy B's in here. It's not the worst thing. Billy B's a bit more dodgeable than tyrants and Nemesai. So we're going to run around you, Billy. The unicorn medal is a good thing to have, Billy. Do we need this shit? Probably. Okay, what's the item? I need that. You know what? I don't care what happens in the B scenario. I'm taking this damn side pack. I need that shit. I'm earning that shit. I can't see the items, Billy! Your body blocking me from seeing the items! It's the most despicable thing in enemies ever did. Look at all the good shit Billy B was hoarding, son! He's like, smile! The dragon, or the big fat hammer guy <laughs> from Dark Souls. Okay, well now... Let's go ahead and make our RGB heal, our Scart heal, son. We could go out there and humble the liquors in the base, or the car park. But remember, they're just guarding a red herb, I think. Although we do have to go through there eventually. But hey, we got all kinds of options now. Let's go test out some of this shit. We've made the hallways up here fairly safe. We can kill that damn plant that's been up here. <laughs> Feeling my life of misery and woe, all these times I've run through here. We just need one last time for him to not notice us as we run past. Frame data! Frame data! Yeah! Electric hit! Ooh! Ooh! He hates it. And I love that he hates it. Okay, we did pluck this place clean, didn't we? To the bone. No, we never got a chance to because too much happened. Probably. Oh no, never mind. I thought that safe would look like it was open. I'm a fool. The biggest fool of all, you could say. And you'd be right. In this one instant. 
check these case file documents. Burger Kong. The Burger Kong <laughs> ready. You know what I'm talking about? Down there at the bottom, it says like Kong Burger. Or at least that's what Casey Lowe said in the Versus Books Player's Guide, which I have yet to show to y'all, man. God, y'all deserve better. Let's see. First and foremost, I'd like to go ahead and finally open the diamond doors. Oh, we got the unicorn medal. Don't forget it. Stop on your unicorn medal. Don't forget it. No lion and maiden medallions here in original Arita. No pigeons with herbs placed upon them by a lion. What kind of pigeon was it, Uncle Tefe? Why a fat pigeon? This, this crowd is just doing this to piss me off now. It's like how in Fallout 1, the, the thing that starts the plot of the game is that you have to go out of Vault 13 because the water purifier chip has failed and you don't have a backup. And you go through a bunch of shit and eventually you can get one. I think you can steal one from some ghouls and damn them to dehydration, but they're just ghouls. <laughs> I don't think they count as people, do they? Don't bring up Moira. Oh yeah, we already placed the other one. But, uh, well, in Fallout 2, it takes place a, a ways into the future from the first one. And you play as a descendant from the first game's Vault Dweller, who's just grown up in the wastelands. And at one point, you visit a vault, and you find, like, crates and boxes, and boxes full of redundant water purifier chips. That's just the developers being cheeky and sneaky. Trying to make you think about the past to protect the future. What am I doing? <laughs> I had to stop what I was doing so I could properly explain a reference in Fallout 2 to Fallout 1. Thank you. For attending my GDC talk. Yeah. A goddamn crappy talk, Uncle Tenfei. Got him. And he blasphemed at the same time. Yeah, Billy, you'll get it one day. You'll turn into Paper Mario one day and be able to swing in the halls. Oh, okay, I was <laughs> ready to nope out. So I preemptive noped. All right, we're going to do some G-Mutant knife fighting. Just start stabbing the moment you get in the room. Why does she have to immediately aim at the wall? God, Billy's over there laughing. He's right on the other side of that wall, if you think about it. And he's just laughing. His children are using the technique we've run past him so many times with to get us. Oh, God, I'll never be able to stab them. I'll never be able to do it. Shinji Mikami's ghost wins again. What determines whether Jill's fucking boots kill them or not? Whether they're made for walking. Yes, Jill, you're doing the best job of stabbing him. It's like when you're trying to get your cat to notice the treat you dropped on the floor. And it's like under his shin. <laughs> and even when you point at it, your cat's like, I don't understand that. I don't understand your human notions. Give me the greenies, human. Human. Your cat's like an alien in this scenario. Maybe you're like Sailor Moon. This is off. See why these things are awful. I mean, you're never meant to fight them in like this room. Oh, God, this world. Okay, I, I think we're at the point where we can ignore them. Oh, look, more herbs, more herbs. If only I had spices to go with them. Hey, look at you. <laughs> we can advance the damn gang state for a change. Use my internal lockpick I sometimes have. Okay, good. I guess she only has the theoretical internal lockpick during things that are like plot relevant. But for like them desk drawers, they're like, no, you got to find keys, which I actually appreciate. A little equality. Oh, now I got to go get that damn Matilda again. Oh yeah, I forgot Enrico was our Marvin type. Hey, hey, hey. Ho, uh, ho, ho. Okay. A new item to examine. I'm not going to... Well... Should we try to use our last three Samurai Edge shots to take out Enrico? 
Because the spark shot could kill like another plant <laughs> if it needed to. It's a bit of shame to not savor it. We're at the point where we're having to save spark shot ammo, boys. Times are tough. Is that Jill? Enrico, you can walk again. <laughs> you didn't petrify like a zombie, so I don't know why you're shambling towards me. You know, we could just leave him in here. He ain't hurt nobody. He ain't hurt nobody. Enrico, come over here, you nut. Chase me around this desk like I'm your secretary. Hey, Brad Vickers, special key. It's going to be good to me. Okay, Brad, this is your chance to redeem yourself. Last time when Claire Redfield desperately needed a green herb and you promised her your locker was packed full of them, it was a red herb, son. Don't make me make another reference to Dexter's lab. Because I'll do it. So help me God. Hey, why can I only find single magnum bullets in your area? Okay, here is the current order of operations. Vis-a-vis -vis the plan. Do we need this? There's those. Now, remember the power cord is the only thing hidden behind the bookshelf puzzle in the library. And that's really not necessary. <laughs> in the randomizer, I don't think it helps you. In the A scenario, it can prevent some zombie incursions. Oh, yeah, don't forget we got this uh, film. But in the randomizer, I, I don't think it matters. Yeah, I love 13 shotgun shells of Scooby-Doo. That's where it's the same as the 13 goes to Scooby-Doo, but when they get up to Vincent Van Gogh's mansion, instead of a chest with the demons locked in it. It's a shotgun <laughs> with 13 slugs. Oh, good heavens, Scooby and Shaggy. Now you have to take this shotgun and shoot all those terrible demons to death. Oh, good heavens. Do we want to do this all in one run? Yes. Valentine's run, we'll call it. Run, Valentine. Now, remember when we convert the Matilda into the big Matilda, it's going to get a full magazine of 18 rounds. 18 rounds, and what do you get? Look, sounds like my golf game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a good joke, buddy. I don't know if you necessarily need to be that fucking proud about it to do a horse laugh. I don't know if it's horse laugh good. I don't even know if it's horse ass good. Okay. Luckily, here in the A scenario, if we fuck up too bad, I can just restart the game. I can just restart the game. Some water while the door opens? Sure thing. Oh, the hydration. It's ominous up here, Jerry. I don't remember if there were enemies in the clock tower. I hope there wasn't. Hey, oh, we... what's going on? Ah, no problem. <laughs> All right, Kevin Ryman appeared just in time to run away from a zombie, and he had a cool bow gun. I like that you're like the cannon zombie that appears during that cutscene, normally with Sherry and Claire. Oh, I thought we'd rock a cool cutscene here. But we didn't. Oh, that's right. In Leon B, you see Sherry here. And she drops the diamond key, I believe. And guns are plenty. Ooh, ooh. Representing Deutschland. Race you to the door, X. Looks like you're not giving it to me today. 
He's like, oh, you still have to leave the library till Valentine. I'm like, oh God, is that what you sound like when you talk? It's like that, the first time uh, Harley Quinn heard Batman laugh. Oh yeah, you're up here. In that uh, episode of the animated series where she somehow subdued and kidnapped Batman and had him like tied up and being lowered into a vat of piranhas upside down so that their frowning piranha faces would look like smiles. And she's like, I'm going to kill you with this, and then Mr. J's going to think I'm real neat. He might even pat me on the head and call me a good girl. That's how Harley Quinn talks. You can't hit me through the floor when I'm doing my award winning Harley Quinn impersonation. Uh, spoilers the Joker's not real happy with her, and Batman knew that. And he knocks her out the window with a big fish, and she gets hospitalized afterwards. And the ending scene is her laid in the hospital and she's like come to their senses and she's like never again will I let that terrible, awful, manipulative, psychopathic man dictate my life. But then he sent her like some flowers with a note that said like, hey Harley, it's me the Joker. I miss having my dick sucked. And she's like, oh, Mr. J. And there you go. <laughs> That's your powerful lady icon for you to worship <laughs> from them movies. Remember that time she jumped the tide of giant starfish's eyeball? with a bunch of rats. <laughs> Where was Mr. J that time to throw her out of building? Okay, uh... Well, we could just advance the damn game state. The fastest way of which is to go back through the library. Well, no, we can't place these. We haven't found the detonator. You know what? Okay, get the hell off of me, Mr. X. I'm thinking when we place that second red jewel, I just remembered. Where my red jewel's at. I'm going to guess right now I'm going to use all my luck that I burned getting that shotgun out of the robot fuse sub-zero room arm claw cutscene. Robot arm fan, like XX86, so mad. He's like, it's not what it's called. It's not what it's called. Damn you, Uncle Tenfe. Why must you take everything from me? Chill, dude. We're gonna get to the lab, and you're gonna get to see that cutscene. I don't know why she's damn mad about. <laughs> These fictional made-up viewers of mine are something. Alrighty. Oh, there were moths. I forgot. Moths were declared. Moths were declared. I right, give me my detonator. In Minecraft. Okay. No, it's so useful. The mortal wounds. Hate it. But I also hate. Okay, now we got that diamond key, so we've got more options, but unfortunately they involve spiders. I don't like that. I don't like spider options. Not a big fan. I can tell you. I can tell you. All right. I'm just carrying. I want to use these four bullets <laughs> in case you're wondering why I'm just carrying this thing around unupgraded. Mm. Now this handgun would be really good against the spiders. We could like burst deeps them down, but the problem is we don't have enough bullets for it. Our bullet shooting gun. Do we just save and go down there and make like an epic last stand against the spider menace and try to clear more of this shit out? I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. That's what we've been reduced to. Which means I don't actually have enough room <laughs> to take everything I wanna take and save, so we'll have to take the knife out while we save. And as always, we're staggering our saves, so <laughs> if this if we've made too many bad steps along the way, we can return by choosing a different damn save file. Not even Natsuki Super has that power. He'd be like, that's fucking cheap, boys. Isekai cheat powers. I guess if you think about it, return by death is kind of an isekai cheat power. It's just <laughs> not a very pleasant one. But it is the power all video game protagonists share. Unless you're that little cat boy in the big hat and the floppy sleeves. 
from that game one shot. He only gets one shot. And he does not miss his chance to blow, son. Because the opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. All right, our plan for the spiders is we're going to start with the spark shot before we've got them hung all over us. Then we'll go from there. Shit. Smoked. Shit. <laughs> God, you can't do it fast enough. Do I need to go to another rant about this piece of shit gun? Okay. Damn it. I was going to leave the room immediately, but it weren't enough. Okay, so we can shoot it, what, three times? We had to run our ass all the way down here and try again. Of course, we could try a combination of weapons. We could shoot the spark shot, switch over to a handgun. Because I don't know how much of their HP they lose with each spark shot. That's the thing. That's how they get you, son. Just like filling up on breadsticks, son. That's how they get you. You go to the buffet and you're eating nothing but crab rangoons. And such. And pork fried rice. You didn't min max properly, son. You need to take some cues from my friend Tommy. Also one of the Onion Boys, son. That boy goes into Golden Corral. And if it isn't <laughs> steak, it doesn't go on his plate, son. That's min maxing. Shit, fuck, shit, lords. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it twice. Third shot. Start shooting wildly. Go ahead and combine you now. Empty these last two. Pipe of spray. For a critical. Okay. There's two of you down. I'm going to reset the room. By the book. Big biter. Big biter. <laughs> Big spider battling. I was combining spider and battling in my brain mind. Yep. Yep. Can we shoot this thing one more time? Somebody queue up Daft Punk. They tend to know how many more times things can be done. Okay, you came around the corner real fast and creepy, and I didn't like that. That's not if I was at therapy with this spider. The therapist would be like, all right, Jill, now it's your turn to speak. Tell the big gangly spider what it is you didn't appreciate about the way he approached you. And Jill's like, it's just that I had a lot on me lately, and I'm not really getting the kind of ammo I need. And it's just there's a lot of you, and you always gang up on me in the hallways. Like the assholes you are, and I just don't feel appreciated as you sport fuck me in the corner. All right, and big gangly spider, what do you have to say? <laughs> he just spews poison on everybody. And the therapist is like, I'm ruling in the favor of Jill Valentine. Okay. We have to get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, I believe in the heart of running past all these fucking spiders now that we have no fucking ammunition. Running, 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 Jill Valentine. Nobody touch me, boys! I'm sterile! Get me in that door. Did I throw the key away? Probably not. I was panicking. I didn't. God damn. This world and its big fucking spiders. Okay, I'm sure that won't come back to bite us. Hey, look who lives here on the shelf when I needed you. And a can of Ness liquor. No, stop body mocking me. I don't even need to point out how it's cheating. Because everybody knows it. Oh, great. That's just what I want to see, you pack of fucks. You literal bitches. Okay, please don't spray poison up my asshole. Why is Jill Valentine's asshole got to be under such duress this playthrough? Okay, I hear regular ass zombies. I guess I've got to pick one up eventually. Oh, hey. Uh, something about this is familiar. Didn't I make like a ballroom blitz run to this <laughs> during a Doom's timeline? Because I'm vaguely recalling this scenario. I just didn't. don't think I had the lighter at the time. Yep, 
We got some classic Spencer Mansion music to go with stabbing these zombies. And I approve. Hey! Oh, now we've got to choose. I like this gun because it shoots fast, but this one gets miracle crits. M -m miracle crits. Valentine, they call me. Chris is like, my gun does the same thing. And my sister has a cute nickname for it. Okay. Well, we got that detonator. That's what we needed. Now, we do have a couple of blue herbs waiting for us back home. So I'm not as scared of getting poisoned. I just really don't want to. Jill Valentine's like, I can't get poisoned here. I got a couple of blue herbs waiting for me back home in my item box. I want to see the smile on their face when I show up not poisoned. I want to check this one item in here, but it... I don't know if it's worth using up the last of my handgun bullets. Okay, how's our health? We're still fine. It's fine. We gotta get better at running around dogs and stabbing them. We gotta get better at sporting the fucking zombie dogs. Oh god, have I got to invoke Zeke again? Jimmy Jr. I got him stunned with a knife, Jimmy. I got a sport button in the corner. Hoo -ah! Live action. You know Zeke would be a huge fan of the turtle man. And then there was one bitch. The dog's like, I could say the same thing. Oh no. That one's tenacious, son. God almighty. My arm hurts like I'm playing Devil May Cry. What was the uh, all for the... Hey, you know what? Being able to save a single time. It's worth it. Plus, we got the satisfaction of stabbing some piece of shit dogs to death, son. Everybody wins. Can we pop in here and grab this single green herb we left? I don't know the status of the liquor in this room when you return. But I do know that it's still against the rules for you to spray me with poison, spiders. I hate to be the one to tell you this. No clacky feats for me, please. Clacky feet! I had to make him mad right at the end. Just like the uh, Good Times Library. Another one of my RE2 shorts, son. Okay, we finally are getting somewhere. Things are finally coming up. Jill Valentine. Crowns are being turned upside down, and we didn't even have to hang Batman above a tank of piranha and get knocked out of a, like, third-story window by the Joker with a big fish. You know, I've never actually seen either of the Suicide movies, Suicide Squad movies. I just know about that scene from like seeing clips of it. Because any scene where a bunch of rats fight a big alien starfish is going to be cool. Oh, you can't take that out of your box. Let's pre-game some herbage. Not gonna mix the blue herb in just yet, unless I know I'm going into poison territory. I'll have to consult my poison man. <laughs> I don't think I need to tell you who that is. He's also real good at identifying 80s hair metal rot on the radio, <laughs> but only when it's a certain band. Okay, remember this key is blighted because I didn't throw it away. I forgot I shot a rocket missile <laughs> at a plant that I hated in an office downstairs. A lot happened. I can't believe I found like four individual magnum bullets throughout this playthrough. It's like playing Elimination 3 in Outbreak File 2 on the hardest setting. They give you a magnum 
revolver in the first room, but all you find throughout the level are individual magnum bullet pickups. I'm sure your kids are familiar with it. Okay, we're gonna take you and you and you. We'll save after we blow the door up. Well, yeah, because there might be enemies spawned. If not in Brian Irons' offices, there's cutscenes in there. But in the like hallway, the tiger hallway, and the like display room. I guess if there are, we could just turn around and run away. Oh no, Jill panicked it <laughs> during the cutscene. I think Steve Birdside did something similar right towards the end of Claire's game in the last episode. All right, let's see who our Brian Irons will be played by today. I like to have a cool gun in my hand so I can have more leverage during the cutscene. Well, there's bloody Brad Vickers, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a quaint British way. Looks good. You're alive. What? Is there an off button? Thanks. Give me a break. Negative. No shit. No, but something's wrong with this house. This could get rough. Are you feeling all right? Get your ass in gear and help out! I'll survive. <laughs> there you go. Apparently Kevin's not taking Brad Vickers' current state very well. You look wore out, buddy. I'll survive. Well, there you go. The reason his dialogue seems particularly disjointed... Tiger! is they're pulling uh, ad-lib sounds. Oh, there were some bees. Because in Outbreak, in Outbreak File 2, the way you communicated with other players was using the dual sticks. Use the right stick. Pressing it in certain directions would make your character say, like, come here, or go, or wait. Or you could say any of the other three players' characters' names by holding, like, a modifier with one of the L and R buttons. But you could also press square and your character ad-libbed so like text appeared at the bottom of the screen that had some context of what was going on so your character would be like oh a crest wonder if i could use this in the hall or something but the character at least in file one would just say a random voice line <laughs> like the shit you keep hearing kevin ryman yell i don't know if i should be stopping my randomizer so often to give you all like resident evil lore that i half remembered but maybe I should. Hey, beautiful. Uh, if only <laughs> Kevin from Mission Hill were here to point out to Andy that you got me the extended shotgun barrel, Andy, and I don't have the shotgun. <laughs> what am I going to extend, Andy? <sighs> what? What? You got me the Dementoid expansion pack. The expansion pack, Andy. I need the game. If I don't have the game, what am I supposed to expand upon? Bling blong. Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. So, you're going to steal all the research? Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Oh, yes, please. I'm a little nervous. Okay. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. What happened? I wonder if this is a part of Simmons' plans. I'm depending on you. I'm a fair man. You saved me! I've always been with Umbrella. Yes, you're here too? I have something that's of some interest to you. No problem. I'll go and get it. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it up to you. 
See you again at the heliport. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Who killed him, I wonder? Well, there you go. I like the image of Wesker just hiding here in the corner of a dark room. Also, I like that he started his little thing talking about Barry, and he ended it talking about Barry. Ori Barrios, you could call it. Wow, spark shot bullets, thank God. Thank God. Which I guess we do need something to beat the G-Mutant we're going to fight downstairs. And the spark shot's not the worst choice. It's definitely not the best either, Jesus. Yeah, I know. Uh, so you are planning something else? <laughs> That's neat. So he's here because normally Sherry would have run off because, you know, he's representing Sherry right now. But we have the three stones, which triggers the next phase where we can activate this elevator to Brian Iron's secret fun times dungeon. So... It had to move the Sherry actor, or Albert Wesker in this case, into the room. But because Geo entered from a doorway, you wouldn't normally be able to to trigger that particular cutscene. Don't talk over me. <laughs> um, she had to like do a little run over there. I just thought that's neat. I didn't think the game would compensate for that. Hey, hang on, bullets. You love them. Oh, here's the heart key, quote unquote. Apparently these flame browns kill the music. Don't tell Psycho Manus. Oh, that's right. This is that bad loop. Okay, I want to go ahead and get as many cutscenes out of the way as possible. Hey, what is this? There's a page missing. Oh no. Jill just got back her Garfield book that she loaned to Wesker <laughs> at the star's office. And he accidentally tore a page out of it. He says accidentally, but she later saw that same exact comic he tore out hanging on his desk. And she knew. She knew. Every day he looks over at it when he's having a tough time doing Star's paperwork and sees Garfield with that pipe in his mouth. And he's like, yes, where could John's pipe be? Indeed. The Ouroboros of the Pipe Strip comic shall live on forever. Complete Jim Davis saturation. If you're not a fan of Lasagna Cat, then this just probably sounds like normal Tenfei babble. Hey, that's a term. <laughs> Did we just make that up together? Tenfei babble. It's like how when you watch a sci fi show, they've got techno babble. When I'm running my mouth about some joke or reference you don't get. Oh, I just realized I fucked up my rotation. Then, yeah, it's that other thing for you kids. You get what I was saying. You're like, yeah, it's classic Tenth Bay Battle. <laughs> it's a perfect example of itself. Oh, I want shotgun. I want shotgun. I don't think we'll need that. If we need that knife, things have gotten tough, but I feel good having it with me. I feel safe. And like I run faster. FPS Doug is just nodding knowingly. Okay, I think it's going to be real easy to go down here and deal with this. Especially if there's no damn hunters in the tunnel like there was in the last episode. Some buzzy bees. Some buck bumbles. Right, Wesker? He has nothing to say to me. You look very Duke nukem -y in this version of your character model. <laughs> He's like, why, thank you. That eh, weren't a compliment. Maybe if you could pull off a serious Sam vibe, we'd be talking. Ouch! It's not just a poison snake. It's a monster. Uh, uh. <laughs> 
we're Richard Aiken. Can't catch a break, son. He somehow survived the Spencer Mansion and the terrible demons. <laughs> Poisonous snakes, ouch. Just to get injected with a G embryo, son. Can't win. Really? Thank you. What's the matter? Chris! Let's go! You... you think you can disappear with such important material? Chris? I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. I'm Chris of Alpha Team. I've come to rescue you. You are so cruel. Jill. I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. This is Chris. But... You saved my life. I Well, shit, <laughs> we were witnessing some interpersonal stars drama. And then Chris got real excited and the G-Mutant he had hid inside of his vest that he was gonna prank Jill with, wiggled out and also ruptured all the extra packets of ketchup and grape jelly from Hardee's that Chris always keeps in his front pocket. And he got so overwhelmed <laughs> by the embarrassment of his prank going wrong that he temporarily collapsed on the ground unconscious. That's what happened. He'll be fine once he sleeps this off. As for us, I got a G-Mutant humble. You got a what? Oh, excuse me, a G-Mutant humble. That's better. I say you did a great job fighting that G-Mutant. And there you go. <laughs> Not aggravating at all. Right, Chris? You still sleep at sea? All that jam attracted bees. Is this how you want to get bees, Chris? Well, look who lived down here in Brian's Irons office when I needed you a hundred fucking hours ago. <laughs> Ain't you pleasant. All right, well, I think some spiders could be humbled now. Just a handful of spiders to humble for the road. I think we're going to have to escort, quote-unquote, Sherry all the way down to the sewers first before it'll let us go back into the RPD. You'll never understand. Umbrella. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? So you're safe. This is Jill. Oh no, you must be kidding! After we've come all the way here! 
That's right. I've been gathering combat data for Operation Watchdog. You have been most useful in assisting me. Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! If you want the last EMP charge, come get it! Well then. All right, let's see if uh, we can just ditch Wesker for now. Okay, good. <laughs> we can get back to business. So I guess the implication is going to be that any time Sherry is randomized to be any other character that's taller than her, <laughs> that we're just going to witness whatever character we're playing as that's Claire talking into their crotch. I guess let's get used to it. Oh, look at you, gorgeous. You love to see it. Oh, I've got so many kinds of good ammos to feed you. Any plants? Uh, I think we've killed all the plants that we know about, haven't we? Well, if there were any more plants we could deal with. God, I'm supposed to... I want to go ahead and use this ink ribbon so I don't got to redo that boss fight. I could also just not fuck up. <laughs> I don't like those odds either. Viewer. Eh, let's go for it. I think we'll be all right. We'll even take a big old full heel with us. A big slobber knocker heel, boys. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the records room. Because I can't remember what's in there. But since we can humble spiders now, I'm not too worried. The sad thing is we have no reason to go to the East office anymore. <laughs> so I can't deal with the rest of those spiders that I hate it. I mean, I could, but it would uh, not very justifiable. They're like, oh, but isn't Vengeance's own justification? Uncle Denfan, did the spiders not draw first blood with their poison spit and bullshit? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know what you're doing. How did you have such good fucking frame data? Oh, I hate. I've always hated. I've always hated you the most, spider pin I'm like the green gob. Fuck. You crowder aggravating as piss to deal with. Even when I've got good weapons. All right, what was in here? Red herb? Yeah, we're going to need it. Okay, what other spiderous activities were we trying to engage with? Oh, we can finally go down into... There we go. Swing room. The basement, the carport. That f radio call we got. No, that's right. And Claire A, I don't think the van gets moved. I'm trying to remember the, the canon order of events. Well, it was worth going in there and dealing with all that and getting poisoned to get that ink ribbon because we definitely need more ink ribbons. Uh, is there anywhere else in here that we want to bother dealing with? The tyrants were up in the library, but they're just guarding a cord. There's nothing over there near the star's office. We've gotten everything out of Brian Irons' region. We didn't leave anything outside, I don't believe. Down in the basement, we cleared out the weapons room where Billy was in there and we were having to dodge his swings. The, uh, we already cleared the morgue. The morgue. The Rouge morgue. Okay, I think we can finally just get the hell out of here. Probably while making like a tree beforehand. Let's see if this works. Ah, I knew it would get me to find. I wanted to save my big heel for later. Because it's too good to use. <laughs> Son, if Henry and Margaret are watching, Henry's like, thank God, Margaret's first sensible fucking thing that boy said. All right. So we'll save after we get down. Well... No, I was going to say we'll save after we get to the sewers, but I forgot this is Claire A, and in Claire A, you have to play the little Sherry segment. 
and something bad might happen <laughs> during that. Something real bad. Take on Plucky Gumption Adventures. I will keep my grenade launcher equipped to feel powerful. Resident Evil ladies tend to gravitate towards grenade launchers, son. Must have something to do with them being kind of like mixing chemicals, which is something only Resident Evil ladies can do. I'd like to think that's just a standard, awkward elevator ride. Well, you turned into Robert Kendo in the elevator. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And then Rebecca Chambers showed up. Don't worry about Chris. Senpai. Redfield Senpai. He's taking a nap. Oh, that's right, I think we learned that this room is, like, bugged. We can just run across. All right, time for some more interesting cutscenes. <laughs> I wonder if it'll be as interesting as the Claire Redfield, Alexia Ashford cutscene we got in episode two. Oh, boy, Kevin Ryman's here, everybody. Everybody. Everybody get real excited. You're right. I guess Kevin Ryman took <laughs> Billy's appearance as a chance to get fresh. Wait a minute. Maybe it will find a substitution for the fuse box. Well, something strange. My name's Claire. What's yours? You know, just Kevin Ryman refused to introduce himself. Also, if Steve Burnside from episode two is watching, he's probably like, yeah, not so funny, is it, Claire? Oh, God, we're Sherry Birkin in Claire's clothing. All right, all we got to do is get to this little vent and crawl through it. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, Jesus, bad things. It's a good thing you crowd can't hit nothing. Oh god, roaches. Roaches, the worst enemy of all. Enemy to humanity. This is some ominous, this is when you activate the painting puzzle in Resident Evil 1. The end of life, I believe it's called. Thanks for an angry ribbon, sweetheart. Well, see you next autumn. Uh. Well, you sure are helpful. You know what? Wherever Claire is, I'm sure she's fine. One bullet left. What if these are both blue herbs just to spite me? Hey, the cult single action army ain't seen you in a while. And your good friend, the ink ribbon. I don't think we'll get those two ink ribbons that uh, Claire found, unfortunately. Well, well. Well, I didn't realize the good times have found us. And so soon. 
And we even got three shells to shoot before we upgrade it, son. Andy came through in the clutch. Now, remember there's liquors downstairs. Because downstairs is that room that Claire was just exploring. <laughs> okay. The sewers held all the good shit. Yeah, I'd like to have you, crowd. <laughs> the beginning of this randomizer, my God. I think the good times are here. The bad times are finally over. We're so spoiled for fucking choice. <laughs> I don't even know what to start with. Can't possibly hold all this good shit. Let's think. Now we're just looking for the Deagle. <laughs> we're so spoiled. We're so spoiled, we're just waiting for Deagles to find us. Don't need you right this second. We we're gonna need that valve handle as well. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Okay, no flame rounds right this second. We just need acid. we could just take this thing down there and stun like those damn liquors. That's a neat trick. <laughs> that sounds like a real neat trick. Hey guys, you remind me of a bunch of assholes I'm gonna kill! And then there was one, one liquor left. Hey, laughing boy. Oh, 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 somebody needs maximum strength justice today. Pow! Son, maximum strength shotgun justice. For when you barely know a liquor, but need to shoot it quicker. Hat and pen. Hey, Bogon Bolts. <laughs> Everybody get excited. That was the funnest liquor sub-basement clearing I've come across in a long time, to be honest. A genuine good time was had by all. Mm. Mm. Now, what are we actually getting up to down here in the sewers? We got enough shotgun ammo that we could just make the shotgun our primary weapon. For the time being. For the times. And plus we got our backup. Samurai Edge. Chicka chicka. What what? Indeed. Yeah, everything looks good. As gravy. Sausage gravy. On a biscuit. Okay, just make sure there's nobody here gonna yell at me. I'll take your map. Keep your map. I'll get your shotgun. Oh, I hear you, Crow. I hear you. Silent Hill last music play. Well, I got both medals. That means if I wanted to, I could skip the alligator entirely. But we miss out on a lot of potential items. So it's hard to tell if that's what you want to do. Long range shotgunning? No. Let's shoot one of these fucking things. Oh, like a signal flare. I thought I'd hear you s holler from off screen. Like Tom the Cat. Oh, these are regular liquors. They're not the advanced evolved Tamagotchi liquors that we've been fighting from the lab. Is that regular ass zombies? And I've got a shotgun. I told you things were going to turn around, son. Oh, no. How will I ever possibly defeat you? Idiot.
Oh, you know the Magnum could be over there. <laughs> it's the only reason I'm going to check. And because it gives you all more content. Although we are going to have to deal with Annette Birkin and the Hunks Boys cutscene. So, y'all be prepared for that. Chill. Be careful. Uh, uh. Oh, Jill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Be careful. Richard? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Ugh. Just as I thought. Thanks. Okay, I'll wait. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. This house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Be careful. Uh, yes. Wesker is here. He's... There is serum. So you're a slave of Umbrella now. Along with these virus monsters. Be careful. Uh, it's not just a poisonous snake. It's a monster. Thank you. I'll take this then. Guess what? Well, I guess Richard survived <laughs> getting implanted with a G embryo, who knew? I like to think Chris Redfield saved him before his big G embryo uh, jelly and ketchup packet fiasco, we'll call it. Shenanigans, even. All right, what awaits me over here? Oh, you love to see him. Red herbs ain't bad. I guess we're gonna put this up before I forget. I got just the thing to mix you with, my friend. And a single grenade round. I could use that to blow up the alligator. For fun. But presuming it is the alligator. Remember last time it was the grave digger. You're like, hell yeah, grave digger, we're sitting down. Why didn't nobody wake me up? But Chris is. Well, apparently that's the snake Richard warned us about and that it be poison I guess we're just doing I don't know how I'm gonna fight a big snake like that son you crowd a lot on me think I can deal with that fucking thing look at him <laughs> there's no hope there's no hope in this godless world get smoked god the frame rate wept Also, with that weird proportions it gave him, he looks more like one of them Tatsuchiko snakes, or whatever the hell they're called, that uh, are famous in Japanese lore. You get the infinite ammo if you find one in Snake Eater. <laughs> the dumping area. It's never not funny. But hey, Richard, I took care of that snake. Can I have your cool wolf medal? some with me. Tyrant is not completely developed. That's what I was going to say. Aren't you supposed to be going over to the first floor? Yeah. God, he can't catch a break. <laughs> Billy Bean slipped another G embryo towards him, it looked like. Oh, hey. Zom uh, Richard, the fucking abandoned me when the zombie showed up. 
abandoned me to my justice. Also, apparently, Claire is with us in spirit. All right, let's get y'all lined up. Preferably like ducks in a barrel. Ah! Oh, somehow I didn't hit you. Four enemies are like bugged. We've learned it together and we've hated it together. Pow! Don't even care what it's doing to the mic level, son. When you get shotgun justice, you gotta holler. I guess I could use like the handgun on these things or something. I don't know, maybe. Ooh. But it's so satisfying. Chicka chicka. Wah wah. Hey. <laughs> Bye. I fucked told you. Hey, this is where they hit all the good ink ribbons, too. We've been spoiled since we got down here. Mm, I'm so tempted to just eat that herb that I'm going to. Good for me. So I think these are lab technician zombies from uh, Resident Evil 1. Because when you get to the lab in RE1, there's like a few zombies like that, but then most of them are like asshole naked. Because they've been zombies a long time. OG, son. You're like, OG, son? Like, Isekai OG, son? Do you think we'll ever get more of the Isekai OG, son anime? I'd like to think. I'd like to dream and believe. Come with me, Rebecca Chambers. To the future. I've already drained the water. So you don't even have to get your feet wet. Or the more liquors were declared. <laughs> Careful. You're breaking the laws of space time. Liquors hate acid rounds, so as much as I'd love to shotgun them. Oh no, the art. I was punished. Shotgun spread would have hit him. Shotgun Betty would have hit him. Oh. Where are you going, buddy? I'm right here. Oh, let's just run past this guy. I think I have a chance to run past this guy. Robert Kendo, you came at me. I thought you was a zombie. Well, Robert Kendo is such a good <laughs> gun store owner and custom gun crafter that he could just shoot bullets out of his hands. It's canon. We all saw it. But like, no, I think it was more 9mm. <laughs> Robert Kendo would appreciate that joke. And so would Brian Lee. They're very similar. Billy, you shouldn't be here. Are you going to hit the wall? Yep. Oh, Wesker, you decided to show up. How wonderful. Now, I don't believe anything appears over here. If you fight the alligator without blowing him up, items appear on that shelf. I wonder if they're randomized. I never thought about that. But it also means the alligator will appear in the B scenario. Although you can also just use the tank in the B scenario if you didn't use it in A scenario. So there you go. Everybody wins? Question mark. Oh, I see plants waiting for me. Damn, I didn't bring any frame rounds either. Ah, oh, it'd have been so satisfying. Oh, well. I think we'll be all right. Shotguns have been known to be effective against plants. They don't tend to like acid rounds either. I don't think anybody does. You know, it's a funny thing. Nobody likes uh, acid rounds. Ugh. All right, Rebecca, I hear some regular ass zombies, which means you're about to see a good fucking time with Jill Valentine. I'd like to think that was a miracle shot. A la Oni Chan. Ah! Son, I'm getting the best flashbacks to 10 Minute 10 Fay with me and Levi. <laughs> when I first introduced Levi to proper shotgun justice right around this corner. The good times. Oh, look, the spark shot. Everybody loves it. Oh, I'm sorry you had to stop and pee. But we got to keep going. Dogs. Wesker, what do you know about dogs? Wesker, what are you doing touching my belly? I dare you. Boys. Okay, I'm getting queued up. 
for dog destruction. Ah! I wish some zombie dogs would run around that corner. Oh, that's satisfying. Yeah, thanks, Wesker. Appreciate you uh, giving me your energy or whatever the hell it is you think you're doing. Trying to talk to King Kai by putting your hand on my back. He ain't gonna teach you Genki Dama. He ain't teaching you no K.O. Ken or even the Kaioken. <laughs> I like his little Cherry Birkin prancing. Hey, we got some Aqua Ring music. That's neat. Oh, hey, we ain't found flamethrower fuel in quite a while. I believe we used it to burn up some dogs last night. Dog burner. That's the code name for a flamethrower. You're like, can it not be? <laughs> That's awful. I can think of Dog incinerator? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is you want from me. Dog scorcher. All right, what are we going to fight the boss with? Wouldn't mind using some flame rounds on him since those are mostly useful against plants. And we're just going to assume there's not going to be a lot of plants in the lab. Is this one of those moments we're all going to look back at and laugh in the future? I hope not. Let's go ahead and load these damn things in the bow gun so it doesn't look spitiful. You're like, what if you find the custom bow gun parts? What do they add? They put a better gun. They add a shotgun barrel to a master key. <laughs> bow gun master key. Oh, we don't need this thing, by the way. It's like when, <laughs> to bring up Dexter's lab again, it's like when Dexter was trying to give his parents the hint that for his birthday he wanted the Major Glory action figure. But his parents, who very sadly don't really understand him that well. Well, then again, he is like a secret genius that somehow inexplicably built a giant lab that's also inexplicably in the wall of his house, but is also like many times larger. He must have some sort of TARDIS technology. Well, he follows them to the toy store using an invisibility like belt or whatever he invented and he tries to suddenly put that major glory action figure in the shopping cart but when his parents see it they look so confused and <laughs> Dexter's mom is like Dexter doesn't need that junk and he's so genuinely sad it's heartbreaking that episode always struck me as a kid as being particularly heartbreaking I'm not even going to insert a clip of it look Robert Kendo's got the facial expression I made the first time I saw that episode as a kid Yep, blue herbs. That's what we got. Blue herbs is what I got. I said remember that, Claire. Okay. I don't want to activate this just yet. I want to see what's inside. Since where the D key is normally hanging is in here. Wesker wanted to ride in the tram, did he? I keep searching that toilet stall because for some reason, between the Japanese release, which this is the Japanese PC version, remember, and the North American release of this game, they moved, in Claire's scenario, flame round spawn right there, and in Leon's, it's magnum bullets. And for some reason, they're here in this toilet, and they like don't appear. It's one of those background things you've got to examine. <laughs> I guess some intern or whatever, like, was examining this scene when they were localizing the game for North America. It was like, you know, it'd be neat if you had to reach in that toilet, son. Like that Womp comic from the future. Okay, uh... Yeah. I don't remember last time we saved. Can I just go ahead and put this key in here without activating it? I think you can. Somebody get the pillows from FLCL in here to sing about how I think I can. When I'm channeling the power of the Pirate King, Adamisk. When that thing turns red, it's Adamisk. When I played the Final Fantasy XI beta, which I was only able to play because my friend Tommy, once again of the Onion Boys, bought an Alienware computer back in the early 2000s. 
And I think he did it solely because it came with a beta code for the then unreleased in North America Final Fantasy XI, which me and Tommy were both real excited about. And he was attending college, so when he was in class for like two hours a week when he wasn't cutting to play Final Fantasy XI beta, he gave me the login and like let me install it on my computer. God bless him. And so I knew I learned his class schedule and I made me a myth or a red mage son. And the moral of the story and the reason I'm going into this is because I was really into FLCL at the time, which I still think is a real good anime. And so I named my myth or red mage Adamus. Oh God, glottal error. I was being such a weep. <laughs> I was being such a weep to you kids. I only got up to like level 14 because I only got to play very infrequently. The worst part was if one of us tried to log in while the other one was playing, it just disconnected you. And in Final Fantasy XI, that was a huge pain in the ass. So if I was playing and all of a sudden I weren't playing anymore, I was like, oh, Tommy woke up or, oh, Tommy didn't go to class. <laughs> so there you go. Final Fantasy XI ruins yet another life. I ain't watching this. I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Wesker? Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. With the way Wesker was holding his stomach, I think I'll investigate here was his subtle way of telling Jill to leave so he could take a shit in that toilet. Now that he knows there's no magnum bullets in there to ruin. Flame rounds did nothing, son. The shotgun did all the work. Chicka chicka, wah wah. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. Would you like to see it? Come with me. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my chest. It's burning. Let me take care of them. Oh, get that scum. Make him pay. And who the heck are you? Damn. I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> what? You're alive! What is it? Well, Wesker disappeared and we got Ben bought a chili. Like a big pot of chili. <laughs> hey! Is it resting at the foot of your bed, son? Hey, Ben, check out my cool Magna. Oh, there she is, the fuse case, my gotcha pond coin. 
More like a gotcha son coin. Kind of a joke, right? You're like, they're a joke like elements to what you said, Uncle Tenfei. But that's all the praise you're getting. I'm not even going to worry about if we find the <laughs> extended barrel for the Magnum. I just want to load that thing up with the good shit. And let her eat. Let us save. And just like that, time advanced forward. I bet you didn't notice. You're like, I didn't tell you said something. Way to spoil it. Well, hey, you guys. It's so nice to see classic Spencer Mansion. RE1 zombies. They're real eager, too. I like that about you, crowd. Also, like, boom! How you're elementally weak to shotguns and justice in equal measure. I'm gonna get the both of you. Just the two of you. I like how you both tore your pants the same way. And now I know it's a fashion statement. Oh! Oh yeah, it's satisfying. I'm not gonna say it isn't, because it'd be a lie. But we gotta shoot enemies with a magna. When's he gonna get to the Deagle factory? I haven't commented on this music. I don't quite recognize it. It has to be from one of the classic REs, because those are the only ones I turned on. Let's just be some lesser piece. Waffle stomping beyond the door. Oh no, it's Billy B. Late last night and the night before, Billy Birkin, Billy Birkin shuffling towards the door. I'm going to run away just as fast as I can because I'm so afraid of that G virus man. Okay. I like how this room is cold and empty. Just like your heart. Hey, look, <laughs> that's French vanilla. How do you say French vanilla in French? Vanilla à la Française. Oh, oh, oh. Or to be à la Française. I'll leave that up to the Frenchman. I'll leave that up to Data that time he went back in time to the Old West and <laughs> won a poker game. A Frenchman. We have also accepted the squinty-eyed guy from Third Rock from the Sun. He also was Inspector Gadget. Fun facts. <laughs> oh, this is something from the Clock Tower in RE3, isn't it? Or is this the portrait room in RE1 but in a different version of the game? I think I'm letting the music distract me too much, but the music's important. It's the music that we choose, son. There's a G mutant in the bio lab caught in a vapor trail. Caught up in the conflict between its brain and its tail. Enemies? Well, I'm feeling lonely. They put all the damn enemies in the RPD. They front-loaded the shit out of this randomizer. There wouldn't be enemies beyond the door, would there? <gasps> the final boss. Boss B. The Buck Bumble is real. 2064, just like L is. Just like L is. Uh, oh, I've got flame rounds and shit. I forgot. The Mo Disc, Mo Money, Mo Discs, as they say. You're like, you've got to be the first person to say that, Uncle Didfe. You've got to be. I won't live in a world where you're not. Just for fun, the old green blue, it'll get you where you're going. It's like in uh, one of that one Cheech and Chong movie 
where they were like stoners. <laughs> like you guys, not really narrowing it down, Octave. But they had the stuff that turns blue, so you know it's good. Uh, spoilers, it was detergent. Like, laundry detergent. Did you know laundry detergent used to come in a powder? You're like, what? Why didn't everyone use the Tide Pods? Why didn't everyone use the Tide Pods? Why ain't you crowd fucking pretty sitting there in a pile of fucks? That's just how many I give you. Oh, you just sat there while I acided your friends because you knew the bullshit hitbox nonsense was going to get me. Oh, now I've got to be sassy. I'm just going to eat this herb. I've got blue herbs for days. I, do I have to go back to my Fallout 2 to Fallout 1 analogy? Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Hey, hey, hey. beautiful. I ain't even shot my gun yet. Chaka chaka. I unlock. Good for me. We can go open the red car key door. Since in the Claire A scenario, it doesn't proc Annette Birkin. The Annette Birkin Anywhere system doesn't kick in and she doesn't pop out of a trash can to be like, Leon Chan! Going to steal my husband's research without having a street fight with me first. And then Annette rips off her lab coat to show her full back tattoo. S somebody leave a Who leave ever leaves the best comment of what Annette Bergen's back tattoo would be? Oh, I wish I could finish this nice appeal for comments, but I have to murder these spiders that I hate. Oh! Oh! Is that all? <laughs> Is that all I get to do today? Pop! I wish a big fucking tiger spider would. This is revenge for in the caves in RE1. Oh no, the, the last spider survivor. He stalked his prey tonight and it was us. It was us. God, the tactical, I don't know which I love more that the randomizer added, the quick turn or the tactical reload. They're both so satisfying. Thanks. I'm just going to eat it. So I'll take this green herb and eat it. Now we actually have to use this room in Claire A to synthesize a cure for Sherry or Richard Aiken, whoever it is. Remember those bowl gun bolts are there because we care a lot about them. <laughs> if Kara care about it, bout it. <laughs> that uh, AKA Strong Bad's head name for his advice column. We're here. They'd write all about it and tell you to eat a steak. That's why he gets all them boys. Oh, the Homestar Runner references flow like water. They flow like water. I love that there's not enemies right here. It makes me feel real nice. I need that. I don't particularly need that, but it'd be nice to have. This is how you know we have it good, boys. <laughs> when you're just shooting excess handgun bullets. Henry almost recovered from me just blatantly using the Magnum. Especially before upgrading it and getting those free bullets. But those three handgun bullets was a, the bridge too far. It was a 9 meter parabellum that broke the camel's back, Mark. I ain't even gonna look at these items until I have room for them. But I am going to insert the MO disc. And it is going to lead to MO problems. But we'll handle that as we go. The type L shaft. Oh, hey. You guys are in the save room. That's fun. Is it just one of you? Now with that flute sound kicked in right then in the music it made me think of final fantasy 9 so much and then we all collectively imagined freya crescent dragoon lady supreme <laughs> cosplaying as re1 geo valentine and we all nodded in approval together okay uh we're just carrying all this shit around for fun now we need the part to carry the cure a little hair of the G-mutant that bit you. C-1-2-3-4-5-6-7-8-9-10-11-12-13-14-15-16-17-18-19-20-21-22-23-24-25-26-27-28-29-30-31-32-33-34-35-36-37-38-39-40-41-
sun. That's the cure that we need. Um, God damn, we've got ordnance, man. I'm telling you, we were struggling in the first half. They had us in the first half, son, but we're running that ball back. I told you we were going to turn this franchise around, son. You fair weather Jill Valentine fans are going to come out of the woodwork and be like, Oh yeah, I was always pulling for Team Valentine. I hear the pitter-patter of zombie dog feet. That I hate! Oh, excuse me, the auto indicating I said, That I hate! Oh, how I hate! What? That's the matter! You're not going to overwhelm me with your numbers while I have three handgun bullets and a knife? You crowd are cowards, bitches. And hoes. And ho hoes. Hope that's not your favorite legendary. Well, are you... Would, Hey, buddy. What, do you guard the computer system or something? Oh, what is this guy's deal? <laughs> something is more terrifying about finding a single zombie in here. Actually, there's another one. You bastard. You lied to me. <laughs> and implied you were the only one. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Oh, no. I have to kill these things. If only I had flame rounds. How did he miss? That's better. Yes. Mayamo Akuma. Koki Desuka. Has anyone ever created a computer like UI that looks like <laughs> this umbrella computer with the face texture down there at the bottom it's hard to read this upscaler is nice in a way because i mean things aren't as blurry but it is a bit melty it's a bit impressionistic we'll say you know we never checked those three items that i ignore well ain't you just perfectly placed like a perfectly plump pumpkin pie put into a cage by freakazoid to lure in a certain spooky man with a candle that floats around I believe he goes by the name Jack. Like, careful, Uncle Tenfei. You get them syllables too close together. <laughs> you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Oh, you're you're like the same thing from another timeline. <laughs> this one is like, who are you? And this one's like, I'm you, but better. And more plot progressed. I hear liquors. I hear liquors. I hear bastards. Magnum, Magnum, kill them faster. <laughs> he found me eventually, like a Roomba. God, remember those rooms in the Evil Within that were like in the building psych mind zone <laughs> where there were like little like Roombas with buzz skill saw blades on them going around the floor? What a time that game was. Okay, so I believe this machine can take this we're doing this quite out of order i love the interface it's just three buttons well not even three i think you just press the green button and it's like the little tube thing that takes your bank card at the bank how dare you replace my oni chan edge i forgot that's a thing that happens yeah you could save sherry with it but well, you, she's not going to want to be safe once <laughs> claire's big brother finds out what you did to that handgun or wait, I forgot. We established that it's not the Oni Chan Edge because it's just Jeels. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Stop it. Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. Looks like a meeting room. You're alive. <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Well, I'm sorry. No! Well. 
you know, we kind of just experienced the ending of Resident Evil 1, if you think about it. If you think about it. It's kind of the same thing. It's a different Umbrella Lab, same Albert Wesker bullshit, son. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Also, what happened to your right glove? Now, walk. Let's get going. If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? Oh, this is the ultimate insult because he knows I no longer have. My beloved Samurai Edge. Son, don't tell Barry. And it's nine bullets. Another Freya Crescent reference. You're like, really, Uncle Tefe, I think that's just you. What do you mean? Wow. What a mansion. Yes, but I can't see very well. Self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Well, boys, there in his final moments, Wesker flashed back to the last time he was good friends with everybody when they first entered the entrance hall of the Spencer Mansion. It'd be tragic if he weren't such a huge asshole. Well, we could just leave and beat the game, but we've got to go upstairs and get that door ready for the B scenario. Always bet on the B scenario. Getting maximum use out of our magnum. Maximize your magnum vantages and minimize your wasted bullets. Well, we finally found Barry Burton on the monitor, although I believe his walkie-talkie has a voice changer filter he can't figure out how to turn off. Also, was it just a coincidence that we got, like, <laughs> every variation of Jill just yelling Barry? Or did this randomizer know that when one of the other characters is Barry, that Jill should react in chord? Bees! Oh, you almost got a fucking magnum slug put in you, son! Oh. <laughs> Funny running into you here. Hey, it is the first time in the damn game I got hit by the bees. Ah, the mortal wounds, though. I can't be stopped with all these good heals. Heals and deals. Okay, shitlord! <laughs> you earned it! Oh, God, why are you crowd so fucking aggressive now? It's not overkill. It's just what I've become like a Looney Tunes villain. Well, I ain't done with you, crowd. I thought you wanted to play with Jill Valentine. I'm a member of STARS. He thought he could get away. Or is that all you motherfuckers? Where are you? You son of a bitch. Prefix camera angles. Oh! I'm sure Henry doesn't mind. Still. And yet it moves! And look at that. Now we have the perfect excuse to upgrade that shit. Good for us. Oh yeah, let's just eat this first ice spray for fun. For fun. Oh yeah, those are spark shot bullets. We're just going to ignore those. I have enough useless garbage for today, thank you.
All right, now remember, we're going to have to dodge Billy B. When we go to activate the cap seal door. All right, let's see if I can remember exactly how you go about this. Yeah, you put the cartridge in here. And then you run over here and press the VRAM button. Just wait till VTEC kicks in. Or even better, VMAX. That's a Saga Frontier reference for you kids, son. Everybody clap. Uh, 34. If we had the three that I threw away, we'd have 37. I'm just gonna grab these for fun. Nine, I'm telling you. I'm like Jim Carrey in the number 23. I'm seeing rat wives everywhere. You're like, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a normal Thursday for you, Uncle Tenfei? You know what would be really fucking satisfying? To humble this smug prick. Oh no, not a pipe, Billy! What'll I do, Billy? I'm shitting my pants in real time, Billy! Shit my pants in real time. Billy, are you mortal? You have to tell me. I'm a cop. I think Billy just sucked up all our magnum bullets. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Nitty finally got us! <laughs> we're getting so humbled right here at the end, but we're having a good time doing it. Oh, hey, it's future editor Ben here in a rare speaking appearance. I was editing this episode and I realized I was so taken aback by Billy's supposed immortality that I forgot to scan my fingerprints. So we're going to do that real quick. We're also going to see. OK, yeah, just like the uh, hunters in the first part, his hitbox seems to be lower than it should be. So if we'd have shot him in the dick with that Magnum, like the good Lord instructed us to, none of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. Get mad, Billy. I don't care. Ooh, 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 ooh. How many bullets can your nuts hold, Billy? I know the G virus is powerful. Hey, don't you walk away from me. You know I need that to kill your transformed form. Ooh, yeah. Shooting Billy in the ass and sides. That's what's keeping me alive. Can oh, I know what's wrong. He can't walk over the edge. Which he paid for the whole seat, but he only needed that part. Like he does when you fight him in the uh, sewers. Look at him. <laughs> He's just looking at us so embarrassed. This has thumbnail potential, but we're probably going to go with Chris. We're probably going to go with Chris. In the uh, jelly ketchup packet incident. Okay, good. Now we can all just pretend that this happened in the canon playthrough. I probably had the shotgun in my hand. And, uh, yeah, this has been Future Editor Ben. I'm glad I could very professionally <laughs> correct this wrong. See ya in the secret video, potentially. And that's really what matters. You're like, it's not Uncle Tim Faye. You can have a good time while not wasting all your items. While not wasting all your items. I'm going to use this item box room instead. Oh, no, I think it's locked now, isn't it? No? I know in Leon B, you need, like, the master key to get in here. Because Sherry, or Ben Botticelli in this case, is gone. Just giving her one more sweep. You know, at least one of those computers has StarCraft installed on it. Or at least the Spawn version. Well, we're not going to get our... Samurai Edge back, unfortunately. We could go full Waltz Matilda on the final boss for fun. For fun. If it didn't clip into Jill's model so bad. Son, she needs to be like an Amazon. <laughs> Son, one of them titties is getting in the way. That's what Brad was referring to when he yelled, you're an Amazon, Jill. All right, we're going to figure out our final inventory. So let's take everything off and figure out how we're going to go about this. Oh, I do want to load these in the bow gun as a joke. I know you kids will laugh. And let's have full HP, so we ain't got to worry about that. Okay. What should we take to Humble Ben? Now, we have a flamethrower, and you know his first form is weak to that. It's only got 38 flame in it. We could empty it in him for fun. We've got this thing. Maybe bring some shotgun shells. Maybe a little bit of... Chicka chicka what what? Okay. Definitely the grenade launcher. We'll get a lot of mileage out of that. Bring this little handgun for fun. 
Yeah. Well, how many heals are we gonna need? <laughs> how many heals are we gonna need? Let's save. I click create new. I, I thought I'd used up all the slots. Are you telling me a computer hard drive can have more slots? Did you make that up? Take one of these for fun. You know what? We could leave the flamethrower. Because that's more of a Chris Redfield type thing. He doesn't have much. Let him have his damn flamethrower. I can't imagine we'll need more ammo than that, but I will have better peace of mind if we bring just a little bit of reserve ammunition. Son, if, in case your grandma's watching, she's like, he is entering boss fight, skin and bones. Ah, blue beret policewoman have big American shoulder pads, but waist so small. She must eat porridge. She must eat pierogies. Stroganoff. Grandma kind of ran out of steam after that. She realized how much effort it was going to take to cook all that shit this late on a Thursday. And she's like, maybe she go to McDonald's. Get the big American cheeseburger. Uh, excuse me, lady. If she's going to get a proper, terrible, fast food, big American cheeseburger, she's going to Burger King, son. Where you can have it your way. The bulkheads cannot be lowered during a power outage. And that's the way the G-Virus goes. All right, anything down here? Oh, I feel bad we didn't get to shooting with this at least once. There you go, Billy, you earned it. <laughs> anything that might be at the bottom of this platform, let's get an SMG bullet put in it. For some reason, the image of Conway Twitty flashed through my mind. <laughs> I 
If he's still down here, he ain't happy. I wish there was one zombie standing right here. <laughs> Just inexplicably. Even the zombie was confused. Like uh, Jules and Vince in Pulp Fiction. There you go, son. Somehow we did it. I can't believe we're still alive. It's like Wesker said to Jill right before Billy B murked him just a few minutes ago. You're still alive? Even he couldn't believe it. I forgot to make that joke at the time, and I just remembered it. <laughs> so I'm posthumously making that joke. Fine, I didn't want to set up this screen anyway. The game auto-fade. Um, okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, I guess I'll catch you all in the B scenario, which will be episode four. Son, the luckiest episode of all. Some would like to say you're like more like episode snore. You ain't even watched it yet. You ain't even watched it yet, Sundere viewer Chan.